Oh, oh my god, is OBS frozen? No, it's not frozen. We're live. Awesome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You're here with Guma. This might actually be the finale to AI Somnium Files Nirvana Initiative. I think, according to people. So, bear with me on this one. <laughs> Alright, so last week we had the uh, plot twist regarding the timelines. It's one timeline. Son of bitch. But that relied entirely on the fact that the Mizuki we were playing was, well, another Mizuki. My voice is echoing? Uh, is it just for you or is it echoing for everyone? My voice definitely shouldn't be echoing. How bad is the echo? I'm not actually able to uh, hear it myself. Load. Are you able to refresh and see if it echoes? Am I actually able to hear my own playback? I don't think I am. This is information overload. My brains are gonna flow out of my ears. Brains? He murdered three people six years ago. I'll only forgive you after we solve this case. It's okay. I'll come back right away. Promise. Regardless of how suspicious she is, she should know something about the Nirvana Initiative. I don't care if people attack me for it! I have no regrets! I have no regrets! Damn it, Iris! You caused another death just by being you. Hmm. Damn it. What do we do? Hmm. Let me see if I can actually hear myself. Can I go into advanced audio properties? No, I can't. Am I actually able to hear the playback? Blue Yeti. Monitor. Are you guys sure I'm echoey? It sounds pretty okay on my end. We need to stay calm. Keep a level head and think. Can I ask a stupid question? It wouldn't actually be a stupid question. Why did terror slice people in half? That's not a stupid question at all. Why does that even matter at this point? Just think about it. Why? Because the slicer was in the basement? What? Someone had to use it? Yeah, but that's not the reason. There are plenty of other ways to kill. Uru despised Jin and Jakara because they took his organs. So he wanted to kill them in the cruelest way he could think of. But why kill Komeiji the same way? Because he took something important from Uru. Hmm. Six years ago, on February 11th, Komeiji took the corpse from the rooftop amusement park in his suitcase. I still can't believe he did that because he was drunk. I mean... Right. Jin's left half. And that must have angered him. Maybe. But that amount of anger would be nothing compared to what he felt for Jin and Chikara. I recall something Tokiko said. What, what you, you call, call the HB, HB case is but, is but a small, a small part, part of the plan. That's exactly what I'm talking about. The three of them were sliced in half as part of the plan. There must be some kind of meaning behind the bodies being cut in half and left in specific places. Let's see. The right half of Jin Furaway's body was the one that fell from the ceiling of Devita, right? His left half was found at Misaton Rooftop Amusement Park, like we said earlier. <laughs> and, it, and the entire twist is also based on the fact that we assume there's a six year time gap in between discovering the two parts of the body. Chikara Horadori's right half was found in a Sekiba High classroom. And his left half was found at Yoyagi Park. Andy's Komeiji's right half was found at Studio Dvaita, just like Jin's. And his left half was also the same as Jin's, on the stage at the rooftop amusement park. 
Hmm. I wonder why. Are the locations significant? Why put Kumeji's body in the same places? I don't know. Maybe they wanted you guys to investigate for a body there for some reason. Why did they test the missile from that rooftop? Was it the developers trying to cut corners so they didn't have to create another area, or is it significant? The location must have been important somehow. Jin Furoe's body was disturbed and removed from the scene by Yonaharu Enda, aka Andy's Komiji. There must be some kind of significance to replacing the body at that location, this time using Komiji's. I don't follow. What does it mean? Chakras are points. By definition, a point cannot be reduced further. It cannot be severed from itself. So you're trying to connect the two places? So the chakras will remain, tethered between the left and right sides of the body. Like a string. The intersection between the warp and weft. That's where the scene can occur. Well, that would mean the Nirvana Initiative is happening at... Where will the Nirvana Initiative happen? This map will assist you. Use this to infer where the plan will take place. When you figure out the location, close the map and tell everyone. Okay, so I basically have to remember where all the bodies were discovered. Okay, cool. So, the diner, no body. Uh, no body here. There was a body at the park here. No, here. No, what the... What the hell? Oh, right. I'm... Okay, this is confusing. You see how I'm moving the little thing, the cursor? It also moves the thing on the left. So by me moving the cursor, I'm also moving the menu. So if I want to use the cursor to go to the location... <laughs> Why would you do that? Ah, uh, you weird, weird people. See, this one lets me move the list without the cursor, but this is moving the cursor as well as the list. Anyways, okay, this is confusing. So we had a body at the park. Cool. Nothing at the diner. Nothing at Date's place. Uh, there was a half at the stadium. Nothing at the shrine. Nothing at the department store. Nothing here. And one there. Nothing here. Nothing here. Nothing here. There was a body there. Nothing here. Nothing here. And a body there. So... See, that's almost in the middle of those two points. Because there was something there. Central Hospital. The warp and the weft. The point in between that two sensors is the hospital. Sekiba High. Say, or that one. So the stadium, but it also had another body. So it could be the stadium. Because Chikara's body was there. And there. So the scene would be at the stadium. That would be smack down in the middle. And then you had another body. Sitting nice. That was Tokiko's. Yeah, but the planted body was at the other place. So the one that was planted... See, that was it as well. There was a body here. Yeah, the stadium feels more likely. We accidentally found another body elsewhere. Studio Divider and that one. Yeah, stadium feels more and more likely. The Nice branch just feels like the one that's just slightly off. So I think the stadium... Oh, I can mark these? 
Yeah, so we had a body there. 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 I mean, shit, it makes you think like it's... I mean, the fucking stadium looks to be in the middle of those. I'm thinking stadium. I hope it's not the frickin' hospital, but that's a high point. And the police department is also a high point. Why is there an egg on my screen? Oh. Jin Furroway's body. There must be some kind of significant- I don't follow. Chakras, Chakras are, are points. points. By definition, a point cannot be reduced further. So the chakras will remain. Tethered between the left and right sides of the body. The intersection between the warp and weft. That's where the scene can occur. What does this little thing want? What do you want, little Tomogachi? How long should whiskey be aged? 50 fucking years! Some go for... $100,000. Have you drank one before? Not the $100,000 one. It's like, good luck getting it in your lifetime. Some guy back in the day had to start aging it, so someone in the next life can, you know. Also, why is the voice echoed? See, I kept asking people, is my voice echoing the entire time? And they just said only when I'm loud. See, let me, let me take a pause now so I can listen to it. This is getting weird. Come on, Kuma, speak. It doesn't... It doesn't feel echo. Okay, so it doesn't sound echoey in my one. It doesn't sound echoey for me. It literally doesn't sound echoey on the recording. Only when you raise the voice. Okay, so yeah, that's what you guys said. So when I'm talking like this, it's normal. Okay, I'm recording again. So it's only when my voice is raised. So it should be fine like this. That must literally be the e echo from the room. I probably just need to get more soft things in the room. That's what happens when Kuma's on his own. Alright, so I'm gonna cast Stadium, or the frickin' Hospital. Boss's residence? Are you trying to destroy my house? <laughs> Your room already looks like a rocket went off in there, Mama. Mama? That's so cute. Mama? I know, right? I told you not to call me that at work. Sorry. Old habits. That is adorable. Kamakura office. Moma Kumakura, the chairman. He might not look like it, but he follows a moral code. What, always sub? I can't imagine he would work with terror. Arba District. You think so? Mm, I doubt it. I gotta pick all the ones that it cannot possibly be. Why the shrine? I don't think so. Damn. Date residence. My place? Let's go, Mizuki. I gotta save my porno mags from going up in flames! <laughs> I told you, I already got rid of those. <laughs> no! The diner. The Nirvana initiative is happening there? It's not a lunch special. Uh, Abyss HQ. Uh, Abyss HQ? It, you mean here? I haven't seen any rockets around here. Well, except for Dante's. What? 
Uh, the Gigantic? I know. The sister ship of the Titanic. Ah, zero escape reference. Wait, no. That sank already. Hmm. See, stadium is one possible thing. Iowan, our special place. If he dares soil that place, I'm gonna cut him into a dozen pieces. Well, I guess he's already in two pieces. <laughs> Does that school even have any place that can hide a rocket? I haven't really been going to school, so I don't know. Hmm. Is it on? On the night of the 13th, a rocket was shot off the rooftop of Misaton. But Terror said that was just a rehearsal. Oh, right. It must be the bathroom because the bathroom door is open. That's all right. Huh? You think so? I don't think that has anything to do with warp and weft or whatever. Okay. I guess it makes sense to shoot it from the roof of that building. But Insomnium, Uru said. The first step for all mankind to reach Moksha. I want to share the excitement with as many people as possible. I don't think that place fits the description. I kind of feel like it's the stadium. By going through a process of elimination, I doubt it's police HQ now. I'm all for them shooting a rocket there. <laughs> I hate those guys. <laughs> Boss and shooting rockets. Alright, I think it's the stadium, but we'll go with Central Hospital first just in case. Hmm? Why would it be at a hospital? Is there logic behind your reasoning? Lots of people can jump from the rooftop. Mm-hmm. 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 Holy shit! Yeah, that makes sense. We have our answer. Right. The rocket carrying TC Purge. It will be launched from... That's right. The stadium. <laughs> well, this is gonna be fun. Please don't freeze. Oh, thank you. Didn't freeze. Friday. Hey, that's today. Eh. <laughs> I love that. It's the same bike. What the hell? This is ridiculous. What? And they're just lined up like that. They're not going to shoot or anything. video that indicated the time and place of this plan. We were never able to crack it, but it probably would have led us here. The plan was probably to have everyone who cracked the code assemble here. Nirvana. Collected. Genocide. Currently, the stadium is surrounded by riot police. Barriers have been erected over 500 yards out in every direction. Even the police and National Guard are not permitted in this no-go zone. It should help mitigate the spread of TC Purge. Guess that's why no one's here. That's not how we are. That's how fashion the guard is assembled. But, if I will proceed on purpose, that's the record. 
longer are we gonna play this game? Yeah, we need to do something about the rocket. But... Where's the rocket? Is that the Where rocket? Where is it? I attempted to scan the area with x-ray, but I did not find anything. I guess we'll have to look harder. The rocket has to be around here somewhere. Should we get them to help? They seem like they could use something to do. How are we gonna convince them? Ivo, what time is it now? 11.20 a.m. 40 minutes till noon. You can find it all you want. This is not a battle you will win. Leave the people to me. I'll get them all at once. You two, go look for the rocket. Huh? What are you talking about? Well, Date is blind in one eye, and Bibi, you're... Don't worry about my heart. I'll be fine. But... Enough talk. Let's get going. Yeah, let's get groping. What? what? I mean, let's get going. Mizuki, please allow me to terminate Date after all this is over. Not if I do it first. <laughs> I can't believe I'm in sync with BB. I've been in sync with BB this entire time. Seriously, this is going to be the most ridiculous quick time event ever. This is like one of those meme videos. Honestly. I love how they're in sync. Don't worry. No one's gonna die. I loaded it up with stun rounds. Why? You should have loaded it up with grenade rounds. Let's go. Yeah. This is like Lord of the Rings. <laughs> no, she's like Sauron. Right through the body armor. Love how the guy with the gun is trying to hit him with the gun. Uh, don't just stand there. Thanks, baby. Is your heart okay? I told you, I'm fine. Okay, let's go. Something's gonna happen with that heart. Whack him! Oh crap, I gotta remember the inputs. Ooh, I thought she went for the... Better that she didn't. Why'd you stop when someone's shooting? Don't stop! Don't stop moving! Why'd he move? How the hell is she gonna hit it? <laughs> okay, Solidus. <laughs> but it said up! It said up! Left and right Mizuki, up! Mizuki, are you okay? Mizuki, 
Mizuki! No. No. It, li it literally said up! And I pressed up on both! What the hell? It literally said up and I went up! What the f- Wow. Alright, now the sped up version. And these controllers. Left, yeah. Right, yeah. Up, yeah. A, yeah. Unless they meant do up and then up again. But it said L and R. Left and right. Right? Bah! Okay. Now watch, I'm not crazy. It said up. See? Oh, now it works! It's ridiculous. This game's rigged. Loving the Stormtrooper aim. I love the guys just standing there. Are you okay? Yeah. Sorry. You hang back. But I can't! I'm not saying it for your sake. It's for Mizuki! Please, don't die. For Mizuki's sake. Well, I guess technically you're also Mizuki, but... Date. Anyway, heal up here. Got it? Oof! What? I love the other guys not shooting. Oof. Date? Mizuki, you're stronger than all of us. You can take care of yourself. Are you gonna go help Date? Without me, he's ineffective. He needs me. Or else... What are you gonna do? Throw the eyeball? Leave this to me! Oh my god, she's gonna throw- Wait. You have a propeller? Huh? Uh, it is so nice to be home. Why'd you come back? To retrieve my stamp collection. I do not want to have to start over. <laughs> it appears that you require assistance. Need a hand? <laughs> I don't need your hand. Well, what I could use is your eye. Understood. I am with you, Kaname Date. Good. Let's go. Six o'clock, Date. Oh, got it. Can Baby please not die? I feel sorry for that guy's spine. His spine is definitely gone. Let's get belted with an iron pipe. Man, that spine would be dead.
Where's the rocket? What if the rocket was the friends we made along the way? Oh, that. Hey, how did X-Ray not pick that up? Wait, is this a Pokemon bat? How the fuck did the X-Ray not pick up that? How the- Oh, what? So your stadium just so happens to have that, and no one realized? Rocket? That is not a mere rocket. Am I playing Portal Blobs? I'm playing Portal Blobs, aren't I? It's a goddamn ballistic missile! <laughs> Come on, Mizuki, you're strong. Um, the bullets are not going through. What? Metallic, you say? So you can walk through it. What Terror said is true. Then what do we do? Let me finish. Terror specified metallic objects. Therefore, if you use your body, we can get through. Correct. Except Iba. Sounds easy enough. BB and I should be able to destroy the rocket with our bare hands. Yeah. He did kick down that tree at the shrine. Let's go. I hope BB's heart doesn't get screwed by the electromagnetic wave. What? You can't be serious. Why? Ow! Insulation. They are all wearing insulated suits. But what if BB and I hit him? Iba, how much time do we have? Twenty minutes. What? At, at this point, this is just a meme. We're running out of time. To get close to the rocket, we need to do something about these guys. But stun bullets won't work, right? We'll have to use brute force. I agree. Sorry, people, but... Huh? What are you going to do? Isn't it obvious? I'm going to break their bones. I was gonna say you were gonna get in the car and run them over, but okay. What about that one guy who you like shot 50 meters? What? I switched them to real ones. Don't worry, I'm only gonna shoot their limbs. Oh, come on! Seen this before. It's optical camouflage. But it's okay. If you use thermo mode, you and Gate again. As for the other Mizuki, I'll be fine. I'll think of something. Something? It's fine, let's go. Gate, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Where are you swinging? <laughs> what the fuck? Can put you down. And Mizuki's already roughed up. Yeah. What? It's Am I losing this? Because I don't know what to do. 
supposed to do? Okay, that one I missed. Wow, she really relies a lot on her vision. Oof! Oh no. Did she just do the... On the way down? What the fuck? Get rid of them! No, Kenpachi! Don't do it! What? Please don't show off. What? Tama. The optical camouflage is one thing, but that line, nah. Way too long. What the hell were you doing until now? Sorry, the riot police stopped us. We only got through the barricade with. See, that's what you do. You fucking run him over with a military vehicle. Why is she here? You guys, you're here too? Bibi and Date are still fighting. Ota, Iris, and Kizzy are in the armored car running amok. They pulled over and got off, leaving Momo inside. And... What is he doing here? What's he gonna do? Um, I can explain. To protect Amame. To avenge my father. We won't let terror win. Leon has a keyblade. Stupid plan. Leon has so, a keyblade. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm glad you're all here, but Shoma too. What? Are you saying I can't help? Well, if you think that, you're mistaken. He has the most powerful weapon here. You mean... The detonator. It has a fingerprint lock, so only I can use it. The detonator? For... Thermite. But yep, that... the thermite bomb. But that's a metallic casing. It's gonna Mizuki, get repelled. Think about it. Do you think destroying the rocket will really stop the plan? I don't think it's gonna be that easy. Even if it's prevented from taking off, I'm sure Terra rigged it to explode. Which would still spread TC Purge. The wind would carry it. And ultimately, the damage would be the same. There would just be fewer initial infections. So what's your plan? That's where the thermite comes in. A thermite reaction can create temperatures up to 3,000 degrees. TC Purge would get burned up in something that hot. It's the only way to stop it from spreading. Isn't the thermite bomb made of metal? How is it going to get past the wall? Don't worry. That reflecting wall must be controlled from the inside somehow. We just gotta get in and break whatever device controls it. And that will stop it from working? Hopefully. What if he just fired it early? This is some ratchet and clank stuff here. Uh, Iba, what are you doing? Get over here, you're gonna get caught!
I was gonna get They're fried, all isn't she? Up all cylinders. I can see it all. Indeed. So, why did you come back? Date rejected me. What? I don't need you. Go help Mizuki. That guy. We're running out of time, everyone. I don't think any of you can see the enemies except Ryuki. But if you apply enough force, you can break the camouflage function. So I'm gonna lead the way. Follow your lead and beat up anyone we see, huh? Wallop them after you make them visible. But not you, Shoma. Huh? Shoma, you need to stay back. If they get to you, we won't be able to use the thermites. Fine. Okay, you all ready? Yeah. I'll need your help. You got it. For the future of mankind. Yeah. Yeah, let's fucking go! Wait, did I just swear in this game? Did... what? Did... did I just swear? <laughs> this is just... oh my god. What if he just started the thing early? Just to be a dick five minutes early. Moma, start shooting something. I love how these guys are just so patient. Yeah. Let's go. I love how the car's going with them. What the fuck? Why didn't the car go first? Wait, where'd all the guys go? I thought there was like a hundred of them. I love how there's like a hundred people, but you can barely see ten. Oh shit, he ran them over. Oh yeah, you got a Gatling gun. Why'd you not use that? I just found it. Is that Momo's? Maybe. Came from. Do it, Kizzy. This fucking plot. Okay, here I go. Uh, you do realize. Get some you would not be stationary from a Gatlin gun. That. Damn. Ryuki, Ryuki, hey! Mr. Date. Please, stop him. My crimes will never be, never be forgiven. What the hell are you talking about, Ryuki? You know I've already forgiven you. Mr. Date. Think you. Oh my god, he's gonna get Ryuki, Thingo. Don't die on me! A hero of justice can't die! That has always been the rule! Ryuki, come on! Ryuki! Ryuki! Mizuki, we don't have time. Take care of Ryuki later. Damn! That Keyblade ain't getting through that force field. Ah. Ooh, right in the neck! Less than three minutes! 
quiet. I know, I know. How was that two minutes? <laughs> Izuki, go on ahead. We'll handle things here. Huh? What are they? It's fine. Let's go. What? Are there another Mizuki? That's not a katana! What the fuck are you two samurai wannabes doing? Damn it, Virgil. Really? They're just pulling everything in here. <laughs> They're just putting everything in here. Is there a game you're not going to reference? The force field was an illusion! With your own little rocket? Are you f Are you- <laughs> What are you going to do? Do you even need to ask? I'm not even gonna. And you're catching up to the rocket. A little more. It can't be. What, you didn't fill up your fuel? Let me guess, now Mizuki's gonna be coming. There she is! Here's the question, how is Shoma gonna see when you've gotten there? Like, what's his vision? Oh crap, this. Ah! Why is it getting more difficult? So how does Shoma know when to press it? No seriously, when does he know when to press it? You just spent 20 seconds flying up in the air against gravity, and apparently... Muff... Oh my god. <laughs> Don't you just love when these scooters have built-in parachutes?
Thanks, Mizuki. Same to you, Mizuki. Ah, <sighs> jeez. What the f- Stop! This is just getting more ridiculous. Gen, what are you doing with that run? I'm- Oh, God. This is so ridiculous. You do realize rocket parts still need to come down, right? Just because you broke the rocket doesn't mean it's just going to fly in limbo. It's going to come down. And at that height, it's just going to rain down like a cluster bomb. This is either really fun or just outright stupid depending on the person. I must be the latter. I'm just going, what the hell? The first few references, I was like, okay. But they literally shoved in everything they possibly could in there. Like this room. Oh, now there's a key. Well, I'm glad everything worked out. Good job, you two. How long's it been? A week now. I know. I'm still feeling all tingly about it, too. It'll wear off in six months or so. Duh! <laughs> now we get to look at Boss's room one last time. But let's look at our little Tamagotchi before we do that. What's your favorite genre? Someone's wife? What? School newcomer outside. Oh! 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 Well, now that you mention it... Eh. The one where a new and old detective team up? That's passionate. Wait, what? Hey, if I had to pick one, newbies. Newbies. Because it rhymes with boobies. Alright. Um. Don't worry about me. We've talked a lot over the last week. We stayed up in bed for hours talking. Um. Baby. About Tama. I wonder what she's doing about now. Well, I'll let it be. Huh? About Iba's memory. Oh, that. We weren't able to completely recover the memory, but... The days I spent with Iba, we at least got that. That data has been re-uploaded and re-implemented. I now have memory of that time. Really? About Maruko. He's an AI ball, just like Aiba and Tama. He's shy, so he doesn't talk much. He opens up to me sometimes. He's just introverted. Hmm. Cuter, you're going commando? I'm over here. <laughs> I hate how when I buy something online, I get web ads for it. Nice members, shady scientists, mafiosos. We really did bring in a huge haul. Good work, team. It's like a JoJo season, honestly. Yes, I would say that is about my chest size. Cuter, Iva is bugging out. I am not. <laughs> yeah, I'd say that's about my chest size. Not even close. You're just knocking yourself. Iba, what's your favorite chogi piece? Hmm, the jeweled general? Because it reminds you of jewel beetles. Hmm, Maruko does have a model of his AI body in the game data apparently, but they never used it in the story. It's kind of easy to remember, uh, forget that he actually exists. Ribbon. Double Helix. Cricket. Well, it was there. I haven't seen it lately. 
chain, red lantern, I'm getting annoyed, just thinking about it, doorway. If this world really was a simulation, maybe it's like a Matryoshka doll. Someone created this world in a world created by someone else. You mean like that? Do you believe what Tokiko said? No, just... That's just slavery with extra steps. Mysterious organism that flew down from other space, they're mainly in insects to survive. What else do we have? A balloon. It said something about Date is apparently a balloon collector. I saw a bunch of them in his drawer. Oh my god. I prefer gloves. I can guess why. It's bad luck to throw out a Christmas tree early. Oh yeah? What happens? The ghost of Christmas past shows up and throws chestnuts at you. That's scary. She has like two daughters now. This computer, monitor built into it, desk, chair. I've always wondered this. Why is there a darts machine in here? Boss likes stabbing holes with pointy things. Do you want to go back in the cage? I'm sorry. Oh my god, that's like Chainsaw Man. Task machine. I guess the Nirvana Initiative was scheduled to be on Tokiko's birthday. Seems so. People are weird. Why do we call Pumpkins Jack? Yeah, what if that's a bill? Oh, adorable. Public baths often have Mount Fuji painted on the walls. Mount Fuji is volcanic. Eruptions. Mizuki, are you thinking something perverted right now? I literally didn't say anything. <laughs> the model on this poster is kind of average, honestly. I'm cuter. I'm cuter. I'm cuter. I'm cuter. I'm cuter. I thought he was going to say, I'm pewter. Uh. You could have said, I'm pewter. Oh my god. Boy band poster. Hey, did you guys hear that that Korean boy band is going to have to do military service? I've changed my mind. World War 3 should happen. Pewter, you ever leave any of your boyfriends looking like that? Absolutely not. I meant the facial expression. Oh, <laughs> still absolutely not. <laughs> oh my god, that's some serial killer crap. G Grandpa? Please, rest in peace. Oh my god, I love how she's following up boss's jokes. Hey, Bibi, where did you get your mask? I found it in her closet. She used it without permission. Why do you have that mask? It's creepy. Boss, why do you have a mask like that in your closet? You know what? I didn't want, want to know. They're on hiatus now, thanks to that, and fans are upset. Hey, why don't all their fans go to the military? They might get to meet them. And then we'll just do one telephone call to our friend in the north. Problem solved. Anyway, it is a shame. Yeah. He's actually dead. Wine bottles. Should we open one in celebration? Yay! Yeah! No fair. Wait, so you're literally now just sad about him dying and now you want to open up a bottle? Wow. Wow. Where was the RC car? You know, I'm into toys myself. I'm sorry? <coughs> she collects stuffed animals. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know, when she said that, I was like, wait. And then boss is like, excuse me. And it's like, the fact that you thought of that is bad in itself. <laughs> the fact that you thought of that first is bad in itself. Bibi's adoption. Why were you hiding her? You could have just told me. In retrospect, yeah. But there was a reason I couldn't tell you. If I told you that, I would have to tell you everything. Not to mention, Mizuki is my secret weapon. She's like my personal ninja. But Ryuki knew about BB, right? Yeah. I didn't want him to find out, but... He saw us. Mama and I were shopping at the supermarket. 
I told you not to call me that. Who cares? They already know. Mama, huh? Are you jealous, Mizuki? N no, that's not it. Look, that is just really cute. But at the same time, if you were trying to keep it a secret, WHY THE FUCK WERE YOU SHOPPING TOGETHER?! Raise my pay. Why? Well, isn't it obvious we were able to solve the case because I worked really, really hard. Oh, patting yourself on the back, huh? So uncool, uncool. Not as uncool as your underwear. My underwear has nothing to do with it. And excuse you, my underwear is really cute. Can oh, boss's so boobs stop moving, please? Oh, grow up. I didn't mean it like that. It's just for my future reference. Wait, what? And excuse you, my underwear is really cute. I wanna see. Peter, you're lucky you're gay, otherwise she would punch him in the face. About Ryuki. He's gone. Don't let it eat at you forever. There was nothing you could have done. But... I wanted to ask about my pay. This again? But... Well, I do have to praise you for a job well done. So, I have a special present for you both. A present? It was left at a special place. You should find it. A special place? Your friends should know what I'm talking about. I don't know what you're planning, but... I guess it's not a bad idea to see everyone again. Oh, no! 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 I have a feeling, and I do not like it. No! 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 Oh no! 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 God no! Please God no! Oh fuck! If I see the docks, if I see the docks, no! No! Oh thank God, the docks aren't available. Oh good! Oh my God! Okay! Okay! Good! 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 Ah! Okay, Aeon Garden. I think it's Aeon Garden. Oh my god, I almost had a heart attack. Oh god. It's it's here, isn't it? They're not using their rockets. Fuel's expensive. Mr. Chieda. Nice to see you. Oh. Mizuki Kuranushi. Please, don't call me that. I'm supposed to be called Big Sis. It would be a little strange to call you that. Do you remember me too? Of course I do. You were only three when the Okiura family took you in. I never thought that girl was really you. Both of you have grown so much. You two used to cry and cry. <laughs> now you're both police officers. I'm proud that you've grown up to be such good people. Can I stab him? I dislike that I have to do them in order. It's such bad programming. Why are you here? Uh, yeah. I wonder. I kind of just wanted to be here. Kind of just wanted? Screw it. This is my last chance. I want some more screen time. What? What are you talking about? Mom! Mom, are you watching? Look at me! Maybe she's contracted TC Purge. We should let the authorities know. So if you're breaking the fourth wall, you have TC Purge. It's a nurse. So the person who leaked the story of the Institute was... Yes, that was me. I didn't have proof, but I suspected that they were doing morally questionable research there. And that you two were subject to it. I wasn't ignoring the signs. I only noticed it a few years after you two came here. And I acted on it right away. I went straight to the police. They told me they couldn't do anything without proof. So I leaked the information to the press, which led to the Institute being closed. I did it for the two of you. But didn't you help it reopen? I'm having trouble following your logic. Yes, that. I spoke to your cohort, Ryuki, about this. 
Human experimentation is intolerable. But the other research being done at Horidori Institute was extremely valuable and had a bright future. There were many hardworking people there that had nothing to do with what was happening behind the scenes. And at that point, the two of you were no longer affiliated with Horidori Institute. Which is why I provided the money for the reopening. I did it so I could keep an eye on them and prevent them from continuing their illicit research. But Chikara was still there and still alive. Didn't you hire a bunch of mercenaries to get your daughter back? Yet you couldn't hire one of them to dispose of Chikara? I don't know, man. Sounds kind of sus to me. Have you heard from Boss? Your adoptive mother. She gave me a message. Mail is 5.4. What? When we were young... You were both bundles of energy, I'll tell you that much. You ripped the swing right off its chains. And Mizuki, you tore the pipes off the jungle gym and played Cat's Cradle with them. Whenever you did something bad, myself and the other staff scolded you. You would both cry and literally run through walls. I'm sure you can still see the damage in some of them, but whatever you did, no one was upset with you. After you cried, you would both have such bright smiles it made everyone else smile too. <laughs> Sounds like us. Yes, I remember them well. Your smiles haven't changed a bit. I still want to bury him alive. The mercenary thing took place in another timeline, so in this timeline the mercenary thing never happened. How convenient. Kizunai and Lian. Please, don't ask me about that. I've already told Kizuna everything. Huh? Seesaw. Jungle gym. You two used to play make-believe in that castle all the time. Who is king? Me or Bibi? You two always fought over it. You split your kingdom up. Mizuki, you were only three. But you never gave up being king. Oh, I don't even know how many times that castle was destroyed. But it never destroyed your relationship. Even after your kingdom was split, you were back together playing in no time. Hmm. I remember it too well, but Aeon's Zomitra feels nostalgic. I remember always pulling that thing out of the ground. Jesus Christ. Wait, was it always protruding from the ground like that? You two pushed it in the ground, but we pulled it back out. Really? Jesus. Slide to your castle. No, kid, you have so much to live for. You know these you know these type of jungle gyms are less and less common because they're scared of kids falling off and getting injured. Even seesaws are getting removed. I'm not even joking, they're removing seesaws. What research? You don't know? It's called purge. DNA treatment. This is not the same as TC purge, of course. TC purge was a virus that was created using purge technology. Even now, I don't think financing Horidori Institute was a mistake. They were able to create the technology for Purge. That technology can save countless lives, including yours. What? Last year, we developed a revolutionary genome editing method we call Purge. With this, genetic diseases that were previously too difficult to treat. For example, severe congenital heart diseases are now curable. Baby, that's great news! Your illness can be cured! Oh, good. What is it? Well, um, it's just so much to process. <laughs> I'm happy for you, BB. Yeah. Mr. Chieda, thank you. Hey, what the fuck? Mr. Chieda, the text we're just going disappeared. Now. Come back again soon. And please continue to keep an eye on Kizuna. We will. Yeah, of course. 
God damn it! Such a complex story. TC Perch was created using Perch technology. If Ricci didn't invest in Hirodora Institute, it would never would have happened. At the same time, Mizuki Kuronushi's heart condition wouldn't have been treated. The technology itself is neither good or evil. It's dependent on the person who uses it. I guess I can comment on moral issues every now and then. Alright, I gotta go to the top because this game was programmed in such a way. Why give me the choice if there is no choice? It's like... What? Shoma, um... It's okay. You don't have to beat around the bush. I thought long and hard about how to feel about my sister. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't sad. But I can't be down forever. You know, this kid should feel like the luckiest kid in the world. He has the thing for Mizuki. And now there are two Mizukis. Wait, how old is he? I forgot. Because he was in high school. How old are you? Oh, he's 18. Alright, I was worried it was like 40. I think seeing his sister getting in prison matters more to him than two Mizukis, no? In prison. Well, she is in Japan. In the West, she would never get convicted. Nakameji. I think about it a lot. Six years ago... My dad took Jin's body from the amusement park. If only I had noticed back then, maybe none of this would have happened. Have you heard of the multiverse theory? There are multiple universes, so that means there's a universe that's just like ours, but with a slightly different history. That's the idea. If that were true, maybe dad is out there somewhere, in another universe. Yeah, that's what I think. Andy's Kumeji lives on happily somewhere. Yeah. I think you're right. You mean in a universe where it wasn't a dumbass? Yeah. What do you vow to protect? Will, dream, life, health. See, this is a very difficult one. I guess will. Well, you can't swear on YouTube, so don't swear. Uh, Mame. I'm sure you know already, but she's at the detention center. I've gone to see her every day. With Genny. But we can't really talk much. She's always crying. Yeah. But her lawyer said that due to the circumstances, her sentence might not be too long. The person that Amame killed was trying to brainwash all of mankind. Some people even think she's a hero. This is why you don't admit to anything. Nirvana X. Oh, the number code? I know how to solve it. First, change the letters to numbers. A is 1, B is 2, C is 3, and so on. Using that cipher. From there, solve it the same way as the BATS 490 code. Zigzag from the top left and go from top to bottom. Oh, it's the same as before. Post and rain gig. Hora ints undig. The puzzle of the pieces of paper in the balloons was solved in a similar manner. 
three five six seven seven eight one three nine seven one four five. What does that mean? The numbers start with thirty five and one thirty nine, right? Which means they're probably coordinates in Tokyo. So in other words, north thirty five point six seven seven eight, east one thirty nine point seven one four five. That's the answer. Those coordinates point to the stadium. So the Nirvana X code is on February fifteenth, twelve o'clock. Come to the stadium. That was the message. Yep, that's right. You know what would be pretty funny if that was the message and no one turned up. The reason I couldn't solve this puzzle a week ago is because my memory from six years ago, the piece of paper in the balloon, was forgotten. Had I remembered, son of bitch. Have you heard from boss? Boss? No, I haven't. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Job offer. Uh, you're good at solving anyway, puzzle. We I'm hire going to you. Continue to live my life with Big Sis. I'm going to work hard to become a robot developer, and I'll continue to support her until the day someone else who can comes along. I'm rooting for you. Good luck. Hmm. 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 Alright, next place. Brahman. That ending was so what the hell. Genny, you opened back up, huh? Yeah, I can't let this affect me forever. No more simping. Recommended dishes, kitchen, BB being BB, table being table, door being door. How did you end up at the stadium? After you took Amame, Shoma and I stayed with Ryuki at the house. The bomb squad came and started to inspect the thermite bomb. And that's when we got a call. Ryuki was told that the Nirvana initiative was going to take place at the stadium. From there, he must have made a plan. In order to prevent the spread of TC Purge, we needed to burn it. So, we grabbed the thermite bomb, punched our way through the bomb squad, and headed to the stadium. I love how these guys just punch through bomb squads and cops and they're just fine. How about Mame? Genny, you knew that Mame killed Uru, didn't you? Are you going to arrest me? For cooperating with a murderer? I can't. It's not a crime just to know. Unless you actively try to protect them. In the end, I couldn't protect her. Well, you did actively try to protect her by putting the fucking body in the fucking freezer. How is that not actively trying to protect someone? By hiding a fucking body. It's frustrating feeling so powerless. And I know not everyone will want to hear this, but I don't even think Amame should have been arrested. Her actions were totally justifiable. Her father was killed in such a brutal way. You see, what you're talking about is called jury nullification, and even being made aware of it makes it impossible for you to serve in a jury. If you don't know about jury nullification, look it up. To mention terror was planning a genocide. What's wrong with killing a person like that? You see, jury nullification is basically when someone is guilty of committing a crime, you know they are guilty, but you do not believe they should be punished for said crime because it doesn't serve the public interest, such as this scenario. Because the function of law and society is to punish people for wrongdoing and serve the public interest. However, sometimes punishing someone does not serve the public interest. Thus, the jury is able to find someone guilty of committing a crime, but at the same time decide they should not be punished for it. 
But the justice system doesn't want the jury knowing about this, so they investigate whether or not you know about jury nullification. And if you do know about jury nullification, you're excluded from being part of a jury. So, they actually rig it! Justice system is rigged! I can't believe she's being punished for it. Have you heard from boss? Oh, uh, she had a message for you. Horizontal is darkness multiplied by light. I don't understand it, but that's what she told me to tell you. Horizontal is darkness multiplied by light, huh? What drugs? I will continue to wait for Amame. Until the day she sits in that seat and smiles at me. She would be sad if she came back and the place was all run down. So I'm going to work hard to keep this place running. Sam. Also, now all of us are not able to do jury duty. You're welcome. Sagan residence. Did Dante get with this woman yet or not? Oh! Oh my god! Date. Date. He was purring like a fucking cat! Why is he here? Well, Date's been like this all week. I see. I mean. Hmm? What is it? Oh, nothing. He told me he's Iris's mother, as well as Mizuki's elementary school teacher. And Date is Mizuki. And Date is Mizuki is adoptive fa- What? And Date is Mizuki is adoptive father. And Date is Mizuki is adoptive. Spell check, people. Hitomi and Date are hitting on each other right now in front of Mizuki. How to describe what she's doing, though? Going through. Disgusting? Unbearable? Nothing she can do, I guess. Bruh, I never noticed how weird Iris looks while sitting like that. How did you end up at the stadium? I was eating at Matsushita Diner. Out of nowhere, Ota rushed in and said... We're going to save humanity! But he says that every day. And well, I thought that sounded kind of fun. Fun. Have you heard from boss? Oh, um, yeah. Vertical is male multiplied by female. I don't know what that means, but that's what she said. Vertical is male multiplied by female? Sounds meow and right erotic. Is that the only thing you think about? Oh yeah, he doesn't have porn anymore. What's he gonna do now? The door. The dining set. The bookshelf. The lamp. The shelves. The shoebox smells good. Meow. It smells like a puppy on a rainy day. Miss Sagan, may I pour tea on him, please? Yes, but wait until it cools down a bit first. Wow. See, this is why I inspect everything. Hmm. Are there any bugs? Oh my god, look at her eye. What's this? My sound system? Yeah, a sound system. A sounding system. Meow. How do they tolerate him? It is very difficult. What? Dude, what the hell? What the hell, man? You're a grown man! This is some chainsaw man. I'm so thankful Oda and Arya didn't do much this game. I'm cringing, Jesus, Date. Think Kuma would have been scarred for life. Have you constant? Uh, have you contracted TC Purge? If that were the case, I wouldn't be here, Meow. You know the Nirvana trial code? Everyone who solved it is being quarantined right now. 
A vaccine has been developed. Quarantining procedures should adequately solve the problem. Any damaged neurons in the brain should be repairable with nanomachines. However, such a treatment is not simple or easy. Or cheap. If the rocket had launched, the country's health infrastructure would have collapsed and caused complete chaos. Anyway, it's one big happy ending. Yeah. What the hell? Hey! 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 I had questions! I think we're interrupting something here. You're not interrupting anything. Yeah. Uh, let's go, BB. Yeah, good idea. Wow, I was gonna ask about Ryu. Oh, I can still ask about Ryuki. Oh, refrigerator, microwave, refrigerator. I know! We should make Date eat poisonous mushrooms! Sorry, we don't have any in the fridge. Aw, oh, darn. Please, don't talk about him. Please. Meow. Meow, meow. I have a permission to shoot. Granted. I guess this is just his coping mechanism, being a cat. Sometimes being a cat is just easier than dealing with your feelings. It's that picture you drew when you were a kid. <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing. Oh my god, Date. Oh my god. Park. Alright, what's in the park? Is it gonna be Leon with his keyblade? Leon with a keyblade, I mean... Jesus. Ugh, they went for everything. Oh, Mizuki. Quartz. How are you? Can you not call me that? Ah, oh, come on. You used to like that name. <laughs> so, like, do you not like shoes? Bibi. What was Bibi's job? About going to Hirodori six years ago. How did you end up at the stadium? About the Gatlin gun. Oh, what I was shooting at the stadium? It was loaded with rubber bullets. I could never intentionally kill someone. You're so nice, Kizzy. <laughs> you do realize rubber bullets can kill you, right? What happened to running away together? We cancelled. Why? My father... Accepted our relationship. Seriously? You know how the press began to report on our deeds at the stadium? We agreed to some interviews. And that's where we just came out and said it. Kizzy and I are together. And so, my father can no longer deny our relationship. The two of them were partially responsible for saving humanity. There's no way he could force them to break up now. I'm happy for you. Congrats, you two. Yeah, thanks to you both. I am very grateful. Have you heard from Boss? Yes, I did hear something. She wanted me to tell you. Light is 25.5. Hmm. Oh, so now we have a number. How'd you end up at the stadium? Ah, uh, that. I contacted Leon. I thought he could help. And Kizuno was listening in on the conversation. So... Yes. I asked if there was any way I could help. We will put an end to Terra's plan. I could not simply stay put there. Considering the circumstances, it makes sense that Leon wouldn't decline. Thwarting Terra's plan. I am sure he wanted Kizuna present to witness his heroism. I started to think of a plan. I wanted to take Kizzy there, but she had to be safe, no matter what. And that's when I remember the armored vehicle. I knew it was at the Kumakuras. So I called Moma and asked if I could borrow it. Moma said, Sounds, Sounds like, like fun. fun. How, How about, about I tag, I tag along? along? And as for who's driving? I know a guy. That explains Ota. I see. But the only reason he invited Ota was to get Iris there. Because he knew if he invited Iris, she wouldn't come along. So he invited Ota to get Iris. What was Baby's job? I only stole from people who made dirty money. Or else Quartz wouldn't approve. And Quartz would donate her share to orphanages all over the country. So you were like bandits of justice. How amazing! 
That might be overstating it. You see, I can't fault you for that one. Huh? Why do you ask? I'm just curious. Late that night, I went to the basement of Horadori Institute with Quartz. But there was nothing there. It was just an empty space. The slicer was hidden under the floor, and there was no door going to Uru's room. There might have been a way in, but we didn't have time to look. Yeah. Right after we got down there, we heard footsteps. We ran out of Horadori Institute after getting up the stairs. Well, we need to get going now. See you later. Goodbye, little big sis and big big sis. You're gonna stick with that, huh? I like how this game has like an epilogue. The ending was so quick. Like super quick. And ridiculous. I mean, the ending to the first game was less ridiculous and more emotional. Especially with Iber having this safe password as Date. It was so heartwarming. And emotional because you thought you would actually lose Big Iba. Big do you remember pushing me in that pond? Of course. When you're feeling down, you should clean your heart. Do you remember your wise words? Mm-hmm. It takes me back. Why were you trying to drown your friend? The dodgy machine shed. Made cafe. This is such a fan service -y game. Apart from some of the puzzles with Terra, everything else is just pure fan service. Look, Mizuki! I finally have an Orichalcum trident! Thanks for your business! Oh, right. You own this place. Thanks, chum. <sighs> Don't you do like a friend discount? <laughs> nope. That's not fair, Mizuki. I always give you free food at the Matsushita Diner, don't I? Yeah, free pickles. Cheapskate. Wow. The Maid Cafe Sunfish Pocket was originally run by Mizuki's adoptive father. Due to certain events six years ago, Mizuki has taken over. So Mizuki basically employs all her friends. No wonder Mizuki can be a fucking cop. She just owns the whole freaking town. Ota, can you get in there? Why? I'm gonna stab you with the trident. You sound like you would actually do it. What is this? Sea food. Oh, that's when you get one of the mermaids. And she chews oysters with her mouth open for you. Mizuki, you should rethink being an owner. What? I missed the conversations from the kitchen. That looks like a flotation device, but it's actually a... It's a flotation device. What? It's a lifesaver. I'm the owner. I know what it is. Uh, oh, yeah. Ota, this is so cringe. What kind of dream did you have last night? Dream of getting arrested, dream of getting chased, dream of staying at a hospital, dream of getting killed. Eh, I stopped dying in my dreams. And I definitely didn't get arrested. Let's say chased. Being chased by Amazons in a dense forest, that's sexy. What? What? You're disgusted by what you heard? Imagine doing that as your job. I, I, I feel for you. I, I think the type of people that do this job and convince people that they're enjoying it deserve an acting reward. The driver. Hmm, you don't recognize moi? I recognize you very well. You're the lady from Lemniscate. Me? <laughs> I am but a humble taxi driver. I visit there often to escort the talent. 
I am a customer. The old hag at Matsushita Diner told me about this place. Hey, that's my mom! Oh, is that right? Mm, the old hag recently concluded a job interview here. Stop calling her an old hag! Hold up! Job interview? Indeed! As a mermaid? That would be the case. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Oda, someone keeps spending all the money here. Mom. Oh, that perky mermaid tushy. <laughs> I can't get enough of it. Oh my god! It's chaos in here. I guess some people are into that. Ota being Ota. I need to change that soon. We've been using the same picture for a while to cut costs. Wow, these mermaids are no longer here? Wow, you surprised me! Mizuki, what are you doing here? I own the place? Really? What are you doing here? Well, uh, um, I wanted to investigate the day-to-day -day lives of young women. As an inspector? I need to know what's in. It's an important part of being an inspector. I feel like I said this before. Oh, you don't have to say it. His name is Tsutsukumushi. No! Ask his name. Hey, stop it! He ha it's that shall not be named. Their name so many times. Encantado de conocerte. Me llamo Kaga. Me gustan las tetas grandes. I know his name. I don't think I need to ask it again. His name was... I recall it was six letters. It began with Ka. Six letters... Ka. I know! Your name is... Kaniza! That's enough. Have mercy. I feel sorry for the poor man. His name was stolen by a wicked witch. I'll ask him again. Poor man. If only that jellyfish was Tessa. Then why are you here? What are you even picturing right now? stuff Date in a wooden box and light it on fire. What prompted this? Whoa, I know, right? About the armored vehicle. It's a long story, so I'll cut right to it. So there we were. The five of us in the truck heading to the stadium. Ota, Iris, Kizzy, Moma, and Leon, right? And we saw those three being held up by the riot police. Or, I guess, those four. Ryuki, Geni, Shoma, and Roboji. They said they were headed to the stadium too, so we let them hop in the back. Then we drove right through the barricade and saved the day. You know, I wouldn't buy it. I wouldn't mind having a Hummer like that. There's only one problem. Fuel's a bitch. Have you heard from boss? Yeah, she gave me a message for you. Female is 6.607. I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean, but there it is. What could that mean? I'm not doing the math. For now. We got the info, so let's go somewhere else. Yeah, good idea. I remember back when I was driving my 86. Fuel was like... 140 a liter for premium, 98 octane. And I remember when I had to fill like... I would usually fill once every two weeks. Because I didn't drive every day. But if I was driving every day and I had to fill up every week. It would cost me like... $80 
$80 to fill up the tank? By today's prices, it would end up costing me like 150. Probably just a bit less. But premium's over two dollars here. Now, imagine driving an armored vehicle that weighs like fucking five tons minimum. With a freaking V12 engine in it. I was driving a two-liter 900 kilogram car. <laughs> this is a like several tons armored v12 engine and you wonder why the military budget is so high where i live gas prices went down quite a bit from four to three something yeah but like they're more than doubled in the last few years going down 20 percent isn't exactly going down this might make you kind of angry but i think mame is a hero think about it Uru, the culprit of the HB case, brutally killed three people. Not to mention he tried to brainwash all of mankind, and Mame punished that evildoer. I can't condemn her for that. What is it, Mizuki? Well, I don't mean to defend what Uru did, but he was held captive underground since the age of six. They took half his organs from him forcibly. When you take that into account... Perhaps Chikara was the worst person. Here's the way I see it. Evil is created from a greater evil. It is our mission to destroy the root of all evil. Doesn't look like our mission's gonna end anytime soon. Usually evil only creates a worse evil. Especially when an innocent is corrupted. Hmm? 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 What was that? Where was that? It was a great. What did I do? Our restaurant's next door. My god, that was so hard to get the little dot. It was right in the corner. Hmm? It was a green thing. It was just the table. Alright! Kamakura. Let's go talk to the carpet. Is this guy back? I thought you quit. Wait, you try to shoot us. Oh, it's you guys. What's up with your voice? It's a Voj Lojo. Vochocho? It stands for Voice Changing Lock Choker. I borrowed it from MoMA six years ago, but I don't use it anymore, so I returned it. Awful honorable of you. Never thought I'd get it back. Okay, what are the two big boobs doing here? I was checking some job hunting websites, and I saw this place. So now I work here Fridays. Oh, <laughs> don't worry. I'm still working at Lemnisgate, but they won't make me full time ever. Isn't that right, Miss President? Oh, sorry. I don't handle the personnel stuff. Did her boobs just... Um, making tea? Answering the phone? Slicking up the gats? So old school. Did I hear something about oil and guns? She's also in charge of puff puffing. What? What is that? <laughs> Did you go back to the gang? Yeah, six years ago. I shot my gun at Sunfish Pocket. I was in prison for a little bit, but I served my sentence. Now I'm out. What about your directing job? I can't go back to that. It's not easy for a convicted felon to get a job. So I came back here and begged for another shot. Mm-hmm. How's your kid? Thankfully, my kid's doing good. 
My marriage was annulled and I don't have custody, but every birthday I get a few pictures sent to me. Nowadays, seeing those pictures is what keeps me working hard every day. <laughs> don't make me cry, idiot! Oh, are you talking about Dokta? He contracted DC Purge. He's being quarantined in the hospital right now. I hear they were able to get rid of the virus, but... It's gonna be some time until he gets his head back in line. No, I'm not stiff right now. Thank you all for reading the flavor text. 20th floor viewing. Supposedly six years ago, someone hacked that. They upped the security. Who would have hacked it? Found my altar. Momo, you have such big lanterns. Momo's keeping quiet. Chimpei decided to chime in. Do you like my lanterns too? Oh, you've got big lanterns yourself. <laughs> I do. Oh, you boys are lanterning me on. What? Cringe. A dragon. And the other dragon. All right, Momo, you're up. What, why do you have the vote Cholo Cho Co Cho Cholo Lo Fucking hell. I can't pronounce that to save my life. I don't even want to imagine the implications. Eh, no reason. Just fucking around with it. He was saying, Mama, I love you. Marry me. Gag. Jinpei, get your knife ready. You're cutting off your finger. No. <laughs> Can I have that ring? What? Why would I do that? Just look at BB. Her outfit is in shambles. They want to buy her new clothes, please. Leave me alone. I like my clothes. <laughs> what is this? That made me cry. Beautiful sisterly love. Hey. You guys are all right. Take that ball the dragon is holding. It's solid gold. Uh, I can't take that. Don't worry about it. Quartz made me a hell of a lot of cash back in the day. Stop calling me that. Hey, Mizuki, did you just take the ball? I don't know what you're talking about. Wow, Mizuki owns a fucking company and she just takes the kit. Mizuki! What were you waiting for? Yeah, that boss lady sent word. She told me you two'd be coming. She said to tell you this darkness is 5.479. I have no idea what it means. I am not doing the math. So, Ritsu, it's time for the Puff Puff. Roger that. The usual. Please, no. All right, Loma, can you close your eyes for me? Ritsi is probably the receptionist. Her name is Ritsuko. Oh, God, what are they doing? It got it. Like this? Now, hold still. Okay. Ritsu, come on! Hiya! What? Oh, uh, are you ready? Yeah, let's do this! Okay, here we go! Three, two, one! What? is the only thing salvaging this from being the most perverted thing I have ever seen. 
No, I think the voice makes it worse. Let's go, Bibi. Please, let's. Wow! Wow! So soft! So cringe. Girl is filthy rich but keeps asking for more money raises and now this. I know, right? Receptions, I can't really see it from here, but I bet she has a smug look on her face. Tired and fainted. What an idiot. Fucking idiot. Marble. Alright, let's go somewhere where there's two real balls. Two big, smooth, symmetrical, plump, voluptuous balls. So you two are sisters, huh? It makes sense and all, but boy, is it ever surprising. The only people who know about the cloning are members of Abyss. To others, Mizuki and Mizuki are just sisters. You forgot Milky and Salty. You're... Mamoru? Why, who are you guys? You know me? Weren't you Tokiko's secretary and bodyguard? Yeah, I was. And then this happened and I got fired. The information Ryuki got in his investigation has already been transmitted. We know about Bodai, what he was doing and where. The Subversive Activities Prevention Act shut Nai's down for good, which gives me more time for day drinking. Hey, guys, what's classy when you're rich and not when you're poor? Please answer. Suspicious book. The spine says a uh, solemn silence and beauty undone to time sounds. I've got a silkworm video. Want to watch it? They're so cute. I'm busy right now. Maybe some other time. Aww. Aww, no one's guessing. The answer is day drinking! Poster. There's an occult poster on the wall. Shelves. Alright, here's another one. What's classy when you're rich and not when you're poor? You got the right answer? There's also gin. Answer is tax evasion! And also drug taking, yes. The eyelids of a girl with sexy eyes. Huh. I think you've had enough. Shut up. You don't get to say if I'm drunk enough or not. I'm a heavyweight. Leave me alone. You're a lightweight emotionally. What? What did you say? Hey, Mamoru, honey. Maybe you're right. My heart can't take it. I drink so I don't have to face reality sober. I saw the president's body. That image is burned into my mind. I can't unsee it. How pathetic is that? It's okay, Mamoru. Everyone has a weakness. I think humans are one of the weakest animals. We aren't covered in thick fur. We don't have hides. Hey, speak for yourself. We can't take heat. We can't take cold. Even the littlest tree branch can scratch us and make us bleed. Really, we're the only animals like that. How did we even make it this far as a species? I think it's because we're weak. Our weakness forced us to work together. We made tools, hunted, and fought in packs. That's how we survived. If humans were strong independently, things would have been different. We might not have made it. We could have gone extinct like Neanderthals. So you're saying our weakness is central to who we are? Our weaknesses mean that we have to support each other and put aside our differences. Yeah, that's why I'll never tolerate people who oppress others. Humanity is rooted in weakness. To deny that is like denying humanity as a whole. 
But the sad thing is there are so many people who do, and it ends up hurting others. LGBTQ plus people, people with disabilities, people persecuted because of their race or religion. If I had wings, I'd fly around the whole world, give all those people a hug and tell them it's gonna be okay. And then grab my iron pipe and beat the crap out of those bastards who tormented them. I'll defend and protect minorities everywhere. I'm not gonna let any kind of backwards thinking, macho, prejudicial bullshit slide. I love it. Let me give you eight million yen. My mom, more, more boobs. No, I meant to say more boobs. He seems to be getting extremely emotional. Not that you could tell by the way he looks. You know, Mizuki's not wrong in some sense. But you also have to admit that society has progressed, especially in earlier times, through subjugation and people being ruled. Without people abusing their power and keeping people in line, we wouldn't have had progress on the societal level. Unfortunate, yes, but a lot of progress was made this way. And then you take a look at technology and innovation that was fueled by war. Without someone ruling over them, that wouldn't have happened. The wars wouldn't have happened. Well, they would have, but they would have been very small skirmishes. So, well, yes, banding together does help. It's also the fact that there are people with natures that just want to dominate. That want to control. That want to destroy. It's those type of impulses that kind of also got us to where we are now. The unfortunate thing is that once we have completely subjugated the planet from every other species the only other thing that we can subjugate the planet from is other people so up until that point it was a useful mechanism within the population but after that it's just turned into a quite literal dog eat dog with people at the bottom just living under worse and worse conditions. And another problem is... It hasn't changed. It's actually gotten worse. <laughs> and what's even worse... Is a lot of people that are preaching the message... Of... Understanding and tolerance, and working together, and empathy, and sympathy, and community, are sometimes doing it to control the people, rather than help them. So, yeah. 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 You heat up some anchovies and garlic and some olive oil, and... That's Banyakoda, not Bar Counter. Ah, uh, that takes me back. Hmm? Alfrey. Just a can with no glass. Mama, a bit lazy. Crystal ball, just two of them. Just like how there's two of us. Any info? You solved the case already, but you're still hungry for more, hmm? Well, I do have some very valuable information. Six years ago, on February 15th, Uru contacted So Sejima, the former politician. Why do you suppose he did that? Because So was his father, an illegitimate love child. She took the baby to Iowan, then committed suicide. Oh. Well, it's just a rumor. There's no proof. But that would explain a lot, wouldn't it? I'm guessing Uru wanted to meet him. The man who threw him and his mother away like garbage. That was where his tragedy began, after all. If So hadn't neglected them, Uru never would have been given up for adoption. Why is that man still alive? I want a drink. You're already drinking a cream soda. No, not this drink. 
No alcohol for you. You're only 18. I'm good then, right? I'm 24. Nope. I know you came here on your motorbike. Have some Alfre instead. <laughs> wow. So where's So now? I don't know. He's not at his manor. He disappeared about two weeks ago. Maybe he fled the country. Fled the country? Why? He's a cunning old man. I'm sure he sensed something coming. He must have thought the authorities would eventually connect him to terror. So, he decided to leave before it was too late. Isn't Iris also his illegitimate daughter? I swear. So must have nothing but evil genes. His two kids ended up being psychos. The first one a serial killer. The second one a killer. And Iris is basically just milking kids. Boss as in your boss? I don't know. I haven't heard anything. Boss left us a present somewhere, but we don't know where it is. She said something about asking our friends. I see. Then why don't I ask the mighty Milky Balls? Yeah, good idea. Oh boy. Okay then, Milky White Orbs of Power. Who among their friends and acquaintances has the biggest you-know-what? That is, Lynn, of course. Who cares? That's what I thought. Hmm? Has the biggest you know what? That is, Lynn, of course. Who cares? That's what I thought. I don't get it. Who cares? That's what I thought. I'm stupid. Who cares? That's what I thought. Hmm? Big heart? Big shoes. We'll put that aside for now. Can we put it aside forever? Okay. Time to get serious now. Oh, balls, the great and powerful. Please find something for me. Where is the present that boss has hidden? Go to Nice. The hidden secret can be found there. So, how about it? Go to Nyes. The secret is there? That has nothing to do with Boss's task. I am sure Mama is only stringing together random thoughts. But... We're good at Nyes. Mama, we're gonna get going. And Kokiko, or whatever her name is, Tokiko, Uru, Ryuki, and so are playing poker. Already? I wanted to talk more about Lian's you-know-what. We'll save that for some other time. Cringe. Oh, sure thing. Come back again whenever. I'll be waiting. Ah. <sighs> How's my little Date doing? What kind of vintage items do you like? Instrument, beautiful women, automobile, jeans. Automobile. You gotta ride that. That's sexy. Hell yeah. I'm not close to done asking questions. I'm curious about everyone else's answer. I will go on a journey to the other world. Date went off on a journey after becoming a respectable adult. Depending on how you raise it, might be able to meet new eyeballies. What now? What do you think of shrimp? Tasty. Alright, let us go. 
I thought this place was closed down. It's in the cathedral, isn't it? It's still bothering me. I know what you're thinking. What Mama said, right? Go to Nyes. The hidden secret can be found there. But aren't What's secrets... The last secret? But aren't secrets usually hidden? I guess the only thing left is Tokiko. Why did she kill herself? Why did she order Amame to do those things? Taking Jin's left half to the stadium. And taking her own body to the president's office, too. Yeah. We have no idea. Why did Tokiko do all that? It is Tokiko's hologram. This was among the data that was sent to me by Tana. Welcome. I apologize, but I am currently unavailable. If you do not mind. If it's no trouble. Would you guide me to Moksha? Huh? What? I will tell you a number. Oh, fuck! We still haven't done the thing where we give her the thing about the thing! To do the thing, you know, the thing! It is a crucial figure that can create a scene in this false world. You know, the thing! <laughs> you know, the, the Freya thing. It is called the Nil Number. That's the one! Are you prepared? Please take note of it. Alright chat, you're up! You're up! You're up chat! You know you seven 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 two nine seven six zero. How was I ever gonna guess that? And now I will look forward to the day we meet again. But I am not talking about them, of course. Ryuki? No, not Ryuki either. But you the one listening to me now. Ah! Tingle down my spine! Yes, the Freyer. You. Now. So what were all those numbers the boss gave us? Are we going Assassin's Creed 2? Oh no, no, a perfectly symmetrical line! Stadium? What are we doing here? No, no, no! Big, wide, empty, open space with flat ground! No, 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 no! Funny enough, this number is different for each. I had something completely different. What? I guess it's based on your decisions. Fun fact, the nil number is randomly generated for every playthrough. That's actually really good, so someone can't skip it. Imagine if you accidentally got it. What? You mean you don't get it, BB? Boss's present is probably here. Why do you think that? Remember what Iris said? Vertical is male multiplied by female. Uh, now, insert the numbers that Mr. Chieda and Ota gave us. Male is 5.4. Female is 6.607. 5.4 times 6.607 equals 35.6778. That's the vertical coordinate. The horizontal. Horizontal is darkness multiplied by light. Darkness is 5.479. Light is 25.5. 5.479 times 
equals 139.7145. Okay, those numbers, 35.6778 and 139.7145, don't they sound familiar? Oh, yeah. North 35.6778, east 139.7145. I see. The vertical and horizontal were referring to coordinates. Which is here. The present must be here somewhere in the stadium. But... No. Oh, no. 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 Oh, God, no. 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 Oh no! Oh no! Oh god! It looks pretty big. Oh god! It is somewhat unnerving. Not something that would make a kid cheer with joy. Anyway, uh. why don't you open it? Okay. Oh god! It's scary. It's fine. It will not explode. Are you sure? This is boss we're talking about. Well, I suppose I can't be sure. I know. X-ray. Oh, God. Ah! What? Took you long enough. I was suffocating in there. No one fucking dies in this franchise. This is all just one big meme. You know, except that idiot that tried to blackmail a serial killer. Ryuki? Ryuki? You know what would have been awkward? If you actually suffocated in there. Ryuki! And I'm here too. But Tama wouldn't have died either way. Tama? Your body? You're healed? I'm perfectly fine. Uh, not perfect. His wounds still haven't healed. But I feel no pain at all. That's the morphine. Because I've got you hopped up on painkillers. <laughs> you need to go back to the hospital. It's fine. It's not fine. I had to do it. Boss gave me a call. Hey, Ryuki. I hear you can walk now. I have a favor to ask you. I want to set up a little surprise for those two. And if you say no, I'm demoting you. Yeah, so he's just risking his safety and his health and all that other stuff. Good luck! So, yeah. How mean. She's the devil. But... <laughs> I believe it. But... No! I'm glad you're okay, Ryuki. Oh god, we all know what's coming. I feel like I should just pull the band-aid, but at the same time I don't wanna. You seem to be doing well. Yes. Congratulations, Ryuki. Thank you. I'm sorry we made you worry. <laughs> you two are like a married couple. <laughs> well. You can't be serious. <laughs> All right, everyone, listen up. No! No! Here we go. <laughs> oh God. Let's celebrate Ryuki's full recovery. You're just taking anything as an excuse. It's not a full recovery. Anyway, we have a special dance for you. Please watch us. Start <laughs> <Or> the music. <laughs> what? What? Why is it pixelated? They could have at least made the export HD.
They chirographed this. This took weeks of preparation. Why is it pixelated? Guys! You've got to export it in HD at the very least. You know, when they were dancing in the staggered formation, I was counting how many bullets it would take to hit all of them. You would need around nine because they're not all perfectly aligned. But anyway, I kept my sanity. Okay, so now we're going to do a time hop. Time hop. Kizuna's song and Mame's songs have been unlocked. <laughs> uh, eyeball. Wait for a question is now 8 seconds. In picture book, play with eyeball as you met in the past function. Okay. You could shoot to the beat. Doable. All right, we're gonna have to do the Freya content, but we're gonna take a break first. It is the only way to do it. Now for two secrets, one of which is Tokiko at the beginning and another I can't say without spoiling. I'll probably figure it out after Tokiko. So we're gonna take a quick little break. Thank you for uh, writing that number down. We're gonna take a quick little break. We'll be back in, I think, two minutes. So grab a water. You've got enough time for that. All right. The music should be playing. No, wrong song. No. Perfection. Three minute break.
All right. All right, let's do it. Huh? No, I went load game. Manual save. Auto save. Yeah, this should be the one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I, I wrote it in Discord as well. But luckily it's uh, unique for every playthrough. Goodbye, little big sis and big big sis. Thanks, chump. <laughs> Beautiful. Thanks, chump. Ah, oh, six years ago. Okay, back to Tokiko. I think it's this one. Basically the first time you meet her. Six years ago. Alright guys, strap yourselves in. We're going on a trip. We're doing time hoppery and she knows it. There is no way we could have guessed the randomly generated number. I mean, we could have, but there's a good chance it might not have actually been generated. It possibly generates only at the end. Welcome. I'm the president of the Japanese night. Alright, here we go. Strap yourselves in. We're going on a trip. Where they hump the fourth wall. They're gonna hump it. I got my little AI ball. What is it that you want? What do you want? Unlocked eyeball -y function. What? Then I'm not doing it. I'm not gonna wait zero. I'm not here to play this game. I'm here to F with time. Wink sink. Meow 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 meow. What is going on here? Maybe she's not thinking about anything at all. Her mind is completely blank? Maybe she reached a state of selflessness. She has become one with LSD. I had a very hard time finding the place. Yes, tell me more about the tears. Yeah, 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 yeah. About Chikara, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Nani? Eh? Maybe we'll talk to him. Hey, 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 Yes. Hey, you're Yuki. As I thought. Then you've realized this world is fictional. Am I correct? Yes. Yuki, what's gotten into you? Then please tell me the nil number. If you truly are a Freya, you should know it. Okay, here we go. Seven, two, nine, seven. Six. Zero. NANI! Ryuki chapter diverge.
Alright, I have no idea what to expect at this point. Yes. What? Tama. Tama. AI functional flying self repair activated. Well, it looks like we glitched something. Now let's save the game before we absolutely glitch more stuff. So this is what it's like to work at Facebook. said find me where could she be elevator or yeah what oh We're no clipping, boys. Are you the Eye of Sauron? This is the true world. Do you understand? Damn it! I didn't get the capture. This is the true world? I'm sorry, but it looks a little bit shitty. Is this a hallucination? Is it because you cannot comprehend it logically? But you have already transcended the logic of causality. How did you know about the nil number? My hologram only discusses that fact six years into the future. And it is not Ryuki who will be told. <laughs> what if someone hacked the programming of the hologram? The two Mizukis. We will tell them the nil number. Oh. But for some reason, you already knew. Why is that? Can you explain? This is a logical paradox. This is an enormous seam in the structure of this world. It has been rent, and the reality beneath has been exposed. Do you recall what I told you? If you tear at the seams of a cloth, it will unravel, and a hole will be created. This is the result. We are in that hole now, in an empty space, torn into the false world itself. Ah. Uh... Why did you commit suicide? Why was the nil number shared at that time? 
What? I can only ask the right question? Why did you order Mommy to move the corpse? You asked me three questions. All of them have the same answer. In order to experience this moment now, we did this. Although I suppose it is more accurate to say what we are about to experience. The intersection between the warp and weft. That's where the seam can occur. Everything happened to make this happen, and what is about to happen. The reality is, this world will eventually collapse. I have reached Moksha, thanks to you. Further explanation is unnecessary. I will not allow you to call this charity, but... I will grant you one of two options. Oh boy, I hate options. Ryuki is about to return to the original world. When that happens, you can share this information with him, or not share this information with him. Which do you choose? I leave that decision to you. <laughs> can we save? Wait! But what if by sharing it, we make him go absolutely nuts? I see. Ryuki will be returned to the original world, with the knowledge of these past few days, and what will happen six years from now. As a result, history will change. Not even I know if this will bring you true happiness, but I will respect your decision. What have we done? Until we meet again. Dude. Bye, Freya. Chill down my spine. Chill down my spine. God, when I get that feeling. Oh, man. Doesn't happen very often. But it's glorious when it does. Ryuki, are you okay? What about Tokiko? I have no idea. I was out cold. Mamoru, where's Tokiko? Huh, she was just here earlier. I, examine, uh, I explained to Tama how I met Tokiko outside the president's office. So Tama is... Are you stupid or something? It's just one of your typical episodes. Episodes? Yeah, your hallucinations. I think you need to get some sleep. Where does this lead? All this happened, more or less. Six years later. Ooh. <sighs> it's cold. Mr. Date. Hmm. Hmm. About Tokiko. Huh? Why are you asking about Tokiko? She disappeared six years ago. She's been missing. What are you doing here? I'm here to investigate a case. A case? <laughs> Guess I've got to tell you everything now. Six years ago, you solved the HB case and got promoted. Now you're second in command at Abyss. You're always at your desk now, so you don't really know what it's like out there anymore. What, is the cold getting to your brain or something? You solved the HB case six years ago. You found terror, Urusomizuki, in the basement of Horidori Institute. I bet he's in his holding cell right now, cursing your name. The case is still in the courts, but there's no doubt he's gonna get hit hard with the sentencing. 
No one but him knows the whole story. But he definitely cut Jin and Chikara in half. Wow, so we got him like right at the beginning. Anyway, I'm gonna get going now. See ya. Imagine that. Oh, it's you, Mr. Ryuki. So, are you still in... Komeji. Are you still in debt to the Mafia and your kids' organs are gonna be on the black market because you haven't paid a debt? Long time no see, Ryuki. Shoma. You're alive. Hmm? What do you mean? I'm not a ghost. See? My legs are right here. Well, they are short. To think, my only son insulting me like this. You should consider yourself lucky I don't have a short temper. <laughs> Why are you here? I was just on a walk with Dad. It feels good walking in snow, you know? No, it doesn't! Oh, don't worry about my body. I can't really put it into words, but I think I've come to accept it. It's not like a disease or something, and it doesn't cause me any pain. Plus, I don't think I've completely stopped aging. I'm growing a little bit. Maybe I'll live to be 600 years old. <laughs> if you really think hard about it, it is pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy without thinking hard about it. Well, enjoy the curse that is immortality. Watching all your loved ones die, watching your kids die, your grandkids die, your partner die, your pets die, everyone around you die, and the world continuously going down a downward spiral to absolute shit. Have fun with that, Shoma! Kameji, you exist in this world? That's an odd way of phrasing it. Though, it's true I was removed from the world outside. Because six years ago you opened the freezer at Brahmin, Mr. Ryuki. I got sent to prison for illegally disposing of a dead body. But I finished my sentence long ago. Now I work at a tofu factory, and I still do my comedy act on the side. Oh, thank God. Boy, now that I look back on it, what was I thinking? The alcohol's no excuse. I caused so much trouble for Shoma and Amame. I'm actually glad you arrested me back then. If I was never caught, things might have turned out worse. I can only thank you. Hmm. Now we're gonna excuse ourselves. Okay, so here is my theory. TC Purge's actual purpose was to create a person who was already prone to not trusting real uh, reality, as is for being a person with hallucinations, get to the point of not knowing. what time was, and got turned into a pure observer, which now made Tokugo the Schrodinger's cat. Bye, Ryuki. Hmm. Dad! Shoma! <sighs> Darn. It was a step too late. I was going to ask what they wanted to eat for dinner. Mame. And again. I didn't think I would meet my savior here. Today is going to be a good day. Yeah. Savior? Are you serious? I'm talking about six years ago. You covered up what I did with Jin's left half. Not too long after we moved the body to the freezer, you found it there. Mame and I didn't even get a slap on the wrist. Right, Komeji was the only one convicted of disposing of the corpse. He never mentioned Mame's name during the trial. Hmm. Again. Mame. Huh? What is it? You look like you've seen a ghost. More like I've seen a killer. Are you talking about a Mame? Well, she did slice it right down the middle. The lobster we got at the store. <laughs> because you asked me to, Genny! Well, you do have to slice the lobster down the middle. It's the best way to do it. Ryuki, in this timeline, Amame didn't kill anyone. Yet! As you saw earlier, Komeji is alive and well. There is no reason for Amame to kill Terror. 
Now watch, something else is gonna happen. Not to mention Terra himself, Urusa Mizuki, has been in prison for the last six years. Uh, well, just to get this out there, I don't completely believe in this other timeline thing you're talking about. I'm just humoring you. Then how on earth did he know about the basement thing? Wait! Is- Oh yeah, Chikara's dead. Well, gotcha. Well, we're gonna get going. Ryuki, come by the restaurant soon. I'll be waiting at Brahmin, too. Bye for now! Because I would have been pissed off if Ch 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 Chikara is alive. Hey there, Mr. Ryuki. Wait, can you walk now? Oh! K Kizuna! Oh yeah, the explosion never happened. Huh? Why are you so shocked, Ryuki? Did Kizzy's beauty startle you? Your legs. My legs? Hey, why are you looking at Kizzy's legs? Don't get any ideas, man. <laughs> no, that's not it. If what you said is true, Ryuki, six years ago, on February 15th, an explosion destroyed the cathedral. But in this timeline, that obviously never happened. He's a nice standing. Why? <laughs> well, this place is special for me and Kizzy. So we went on a date. Aww. A date, huh? You two seem happy. Hell yeah. I am very thankful. So we fucked with time to help this happen. By the way, Ryuki, I saw Mizuki in courts earlier. I think they're looking for you. Oh yeah, so how did the whole Mizuki and Mizuki thing happen, now that none of that other stuff happened? For me? They had a message for you. They wanted you to meet them somewhere. No, don't you dare! Where? It's nearby. Yes, the stadium. No! I already listened to it once! Don't. You. Dare. Aiba? Huh? What about Aiba? I am right here. In Mizuki's left eye socket. Once I decided to join Abyss, I got my left eye removed. And I was installed there. So Mr. Date doesn't have you? I go back sometimes. Like having two lovers. Please do not make it weird. You're just that popular. Yeah, you have a way of attracting all the weirdos. Who are you calling a weirdo? One more go- Scream one more goddamn time with your echoed voice and I'm ripping your toenails off. Hmm, you're learning. I heard you were looking for me. But actually, what's more painful than that is sticking something acidic underneath the toenails. Oh, yes. Um, we wanted to ask you something. Does seeing the stadium evoke any emotions? Blinding rage, yes. Like what? I feel like we fought together here. Oh my god. Today, on February 15th. Do you know what tomorrow is? I think you were there too, Ryuki. So I thought you might know something. Hey, Tama. Is it really okay to leave things like this? <laughs> what do you mean? Komeiji is alive, Kizuna still has her legs, Mommy didn't kill anyone, and she's living her best life. Isn't this the ultimate happy ending? Yeah, that's all true, but... NANI! The boundary that divides the real and unreal is ambiguous. It's all like a butterfly dream. Perhaps you are that butterfly. Fluttering as the wind carries you through the air.
I'm guessing this is where they do it. Third class cabin has been unlocked in bonus. Huh? Huh? What the shit? <laughs> I like how there's just like glitch. Tokugo herself is now a quantum phenomenon. She both is and isn't alive. And this entire timeline is a quant- What did we just do? Yeah, see, that's where they confused us. It was like... Past. Present. Past. 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 But this was present. And this was in the fucking past. Whereas this was all in the present. They just fucked with us here. Like, this is where they really fucked us. Like, fucking well-played misdirection. Alright, can I go to the menu? Also notice the Freya divergence happened at the intersection of the timelines. Yeah. I gotta pay for nine nine nine. I wonder what that is. <laughs> Nani. Somnium. What? 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 A loud noise. To a loud noise. What the? Can I please read? Wait, 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 wait. It's lagging. A loud noise startled Ibo awake and her eyes snapped open. As they adjusted to the light, she realized that she didn't recognize her surroundings. With a crack, Ibo's head connected with something metal. She rolled over and threw her head to steady herself, but she found herself groping in empty air. What? Whoa! Oh. My. God. Whatever you do, keep the fuck away from the redhead girl with the axe! Her balance lost and her still fuzzy mind struggling to understand what was going on, Iba tumbled down to the cold grey floor. Ouch! God damn it! Uh, what the hell? She looked above her with an angry scrowl. She finally understood where she fell from. Bad. Get your digital root numbers ready. Oh god. A three bed bunk bed. She fell from the top I bunk. I fell pretty far. Uh, it really hurt. I don't remember anything. Her shoulders, knees and back were in pain, but her head got the worst of it. Damn. My eyesight's kind of blurry. Must have hit my head. Imagine if you have to play the whole 999 game. No, wait. That's not it. They secretly just hit the entire game as a bonus. But you just play as Iba. There's a vibration coming from the floor. The whole room was shaking. An earthquake? But it's shaking too fast for that. Iba didn't know what could be causing it. Anyway... Iba brushed her body off and stood. She slowly looked around. I don't freaking remember any of this. And she whispered. Where am I? I was stood in a room so unfamiliar to her. It nearly made her forget the pain in her body. Eventually. Oh god. The shaking subsided. Wait. It stopped? A strange silence started to fill the room. Oh no. In the distance, the sound of metal. What's that sound? 
I have looked around the room. An antique stove. A three bed bunk bed with thin mattresses. There was another set of beds on the other side of the room. On the wall was a slightly rusted iron door. It stood as firm and cold as a stone monument. That's... The first thing that caught her attention was the writing. There was a number written on the door with bright red paint. Five. Five? What's this five mean? She stared at the number and slowly approached. She tried shaking the L-shaped handle on the door. Ugh, it won't open. Pushing and pulling did nothing. Beside the door was a device that appeared to be some kind of card reader. What's this? Is this keeping the door shut? Iba closed her right hand and pounded on the metal door. Hey! Hello? Is anyone there? Open the door! No response. She lifted her left hand, and at that moment she noticed something peculiar. Huh? What the hell is this? She couldn't keep the question inside. On her left wrist was a bracelet, totally alien to her. I'ma just take this screenshot. A digital number was displayed in the center. A watch? Hmm, it doesn't look like one. It couldn't be, of course. There was only one number displayed. Five. That's... That's the same as the door. Not that she knew what that meant. Iba was confused, but decided her first course of action should be to take the bracelet off. She turned the wrist as if shaking off a watch. Uh, how do I take this off? There were no clasps on either side of the bracelet. She turned the wrist the other way. She noticed protrusions coming out of each side of the display. Maybe pushing something on this will work? She pressed it, but nothing happened. The digital face did not change nothing. at all. Damn. I guess I'll have to force it off. Iba tried to remove the bracelet by force, but... No good. This stupid thing won't come off! The middle bracelet was tied around the wrist. What the hell is the deal with this thing? She let out a frustrated scream. The situation made no sense to her. Her head felt like it was going to explode. Where am I? And why the hell am I here? Why? Welcome to hell! What the hell happened to me? Ah, uh, my head. A sharp pain in her head caused her to lift her vision. Oh. She discovered a window opposite to the door. This is... It was similar in style to those found on ships. Hold on. Am I on a ship? She walked slowly up to the window. Outside was pitch darkness. I can't see anything. If only it wasn't so dark outside. She squinted into the dark. In the next moment... Huh? What the... You gotta be kidding me! What the hell is going on here? Yay! Time limits! The window shattered. Water started pouring into the room. What the you wanted more Zero Escape? Well, here you go! Iba shouted and turned around. She charged to the door. Hey! Anyone? Is anyone there? Come on! If you're there, say something! No answer. The water was rising quickly. It sloshed around her knees. It's not stopping. Not good. Not good at all. I need to find a way out. And fast. You know, the music is the same, but the balance is a little different. Iba wiped sweat from her brow and looked around the room. Six minute, one person, five door. Upon waking up, Iba realizes she's on a strange ship. Solve the mystery and escape the third class cabin. Oh my god. Pot and stove. On the top was a stove and a faded pot. Well, let's see if there's anything in here. Looks like there is. A key. This key is pretty small. Definitely not for a door. 
What's it for then? This key's blue. Is it supposed to open something else blue? This is the door to the stove. Well, it opens easily enough. Sure wish the door to get out of here would easily open. A screwdriver, huh? Wonder why that's here. A normal screwdriver. Doesn't seem to be anything special about it. Items obtained can be checked in the clue list. Okay. Screwdriver. Normal screwdriver. I can't flip it around. Can I? Oh, the music's kicking in. Mirror. A small red key. Is this for opening something? I should probably hold on to this key. Iba tries to leave, but something stops her. The person in the mirror was not herself. What's up with my face? She whispered to herself. I look like a zombie. What happened? Man, what the hell happened to me? How did I end up here? I was solving a case. I synced, and... This is what happens when you fuck with time. And... At that moment, a memory came back. It was the last memory before Iber woke up in the room. Were you in a car? She got home a little past 12. Iba ran up the stairs to open the door to her room, 201. Iba's home, a modest studio apartment, one that was 63,000 yen in rent, could buy. That's 630 dara. She first moved into the studio when she started college. It had been three years and seven months since then. I'm back. Not like anyone will respond. As she entered the room, she pressed the switch on the wall. The ceiling lights flickered and emitted a dull white light. Man, work was rough today. Why did you leave your windows open? She was familiar with the scene in front of her. In the corner of the room were magazines and dust-covered college textbooks. CD cases scattered around, jeans and t-shirts left on the floor. But this time, something was different. Huh? A breeze? The night wind made the white lace curtains waver, carrying the scent of deep autumn. Huh. That's weird. Did I leave that open? Confused, she slowly crept up to the window. It was open on one side. She stuck her head out to check. Hmm. Everything looks okay. I must have forgotten to close it. Ooh, I just looked behind my back as soon as someone does something like this. I have a close the window. When suddenly... <gasps> that's what happens. She turned to face a specter of a man dressed in black. He wore a hood and a gas mask that concealed his face. Who are... She tried to scream, but no sound came out. Uh, I <coughs> can't. The irony of closing the window. Iba fell to the floor with a thud. She saw white smoke pull around her. Smoke emanating from what looked like a grenade. Everything was going white. She... Even the thoughts inside her head were going white. Consider this a privilege. You have been chosen. A voice rang in her ears. It sounded scratchy, noisy, a distant hissing growl. You are going to participate in the game. The memory game. It is a game where you will put your life on the line. Did we go back in time? That was the last memory before waking up. Iber's consciousness melted into the white fog. That's right! guy with the gas mask that son of a bitch must have taken me here did you just assume his gender Iba clenched her teeth and tried to remember how the man looked well I guess there's no way to know if that was a man or not his voice was definitely modulated by something and his body was cloaked and concealed just who was that it said you have been chosen Iba didn't have a clue what that meant what the hell is going on why me? But the memory lingers. You are going to participate in the game. The memory game. It is a game where you will put your life on the line. The nonary game, huh? What the hell is a nonary game? 
God damn it! Wow, that took up nine seconds of our life. Bed. Is there anything on the bed? Can't bring myself to call this a bed. It feels like a board with a sheet on it. It's pretty flat. A piece of paper under the pillow. The note under the pillow. Ah. Uh, it is a blue shape and a red shape. Square. Red. Lows an arrow pointing to the right. Pointing to something red and something blue. Sink. The note on the bulletin board. There are red and blue triangles in the note. Blue is face. Below is a right facing arrow. Pointing to something red and something blue. There's a picture frame on the shelf. Picture frame, there's a picture on it. There's screws keeping the back on. Well, the screwdriver got those screws off easily, and here's the picture. A photo of a ship. It looks like an old cruise ship. <clears throat> on the back of the photo were 10 symbols and numbers. Yay! The symbols were all the same shape. Top row was empty, and the bottom row was filled out. What does this mean? It means we've got a cipher. Okay, so I'm guessing this is for the red one. Ammo from the bed. So, square, left, right. Okay. Yeah, stop reading it. Filled, empty top left. Filled, zero, empty top left two. Zero, two. Zero, two. Zero, two, eight, five. Zero, two, eight, five. Damn it. Hmm. Zero, two, eight, five. Damn it! Not me! Alright, I must have fucked it up. Come on, stop fucking it up. Alright. Wait, did it, there's two. Did I miss this? There was a red and blue triangle symbol, and below is the right facing arrow. So that was zero. Zero two. Zero two eight five. Zero two eight five. So I didn't do that one probably. But I'm gonna write it down. Zero two eight five. Zero two eight five. What's the second one? Oh wait, half and half. Fuck, stupid dominoes, half and half pizza. Alright, so 0, 2. 0, 2, 6, 3. There you go! Pizza wins! After setting the number and turning the key, the sound of the lock opened. something in here. What is this? A file? Inside the file was a piece of paper. Digital root. Let's see here. Computer digital root with the following steps. First, add all the numbers in question to one another. If the if you end up with something greater than a single digit, add the digits to one another. For instance, if you have a double digit number, add the number in the tens place to the number in the ones place. Keeping the added digits in this manner, you will have a single digital root. The final single digit is your digital root. The digital root of 6, 7, 8 would be... 6 plus 7 plus 8 equals 21 equals 3. Therefore, the digital root of 6, 7, 8 is 3. The digital root of 1, 2, 3, 4 would be... 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 equals 10 and one is 1. Therefore, the digital root of 1, 2, 3, 4 is 1. So I just keep adding numbers until I get a single digit number. 
Oh, this looks like there's something on the back of this thing. Uh, stack of cards. Six. Alright, so I gotta get a seven. Gotcha. Alright, and then next up, uh, I do the reds. So top left. So seven. Seven, four. Seven, four, eight. Seven, four, eight, five. Well, let's get seven, eight, four, five. What? Did I fuck that up? Top left, seven. Bottom seven, four. Seven four seven four six three. Well, let's get seven four six three. A red briefcase. The red symbol and the red part of the arrow. Maybe something to do with the unlock code. One more thing: the mysterious symbols and the numbers at the back of the photo. All right, am I fucking stupid? I'm gonna start writing this down. So, okay, fuck. I'm gonna do this because I'm stupid. Top left is filled. That's a seven. So I write that down as a seven. Right? The bottom left is. Uh, bottom right is empty. So that's a four. So that's a seven and a four. Seven, four. Gotcha. Filled top right is an eight, seven, four, eight, and an empty red one, five, seven, four, eight, five, right? Oh, let's get seven, four, eight, five. Ugh! Right, it's unlocked. Can I stop rushing, please? Shut up, Kuma. Alright, now I just gotta do fucking quick math. Right? Quick math? Yes? Five. Alright, so I gotta basically get 50. Of course! The files! Digital root. Digital root. A digital root, huh? What am I supposed to do with? There's a five do on the I door. Do I have to get a digital root of five? Yes! I'm not quite sure about this. Whatever, it's Let's worth a shot. Let's see if this works. I'll just slide the cards that give me the digital root of five through the reader. One, two, three, six, seven, eight. The root can be made with three of these numbers. Sorry, what numbers did I have? All right. Eight and three. Wait. Eight and three will give me eleven. Hmm. So that will give me thirteen. Twenty one. That will give me a three. Fuck. Well, no, 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 no. Well, if it's three, the first one's gonna get added to the two, right? God, I forgot how digital roots work. I'm an idiot. Let me just read it. Stop being an idiot. Inside the road, da 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 da, there was a small red triangle. Let me read the digital root thing. What's the digital root thing? The digital root thing. Digital root. What am I supposed to do? There's a five. I have to get a root of five. Oh my god, I have to get it wrong. Fine. There. That's fine. Just let me read the thing. For example, six, seven, eight. Six, seven, eight equals two. And then you add two and one to get three. 
Right. Two, wait, six, seven, eight. Six to the seven is 13. 13 plus eight is 21. You two and the eight to get three. Gotcha, so for example, eight, two, three. Eight, two, three, 13, and 13, that's 10, 13. Gotcha. Then you add the one and the three to get four. What do I need to get a digital root of five? Fourteen. Fourteen. All right, I need a fourteen. Um, seven, six, one. Ah. Oh. Oh, thank God. Get it, success. I hate math. I would have fucking drowned if this was real life. You and me. <laughs> what a fucking drowned. I remember doing an escape room with friends. And one of the um, things that we needed to use was a mask of Ned Kelly. And while you wear the mask, it's got a visor and the visor helps you read a message in a newspaper. But the visor wasn't actually working. So I ended up brute forcing that puzzle. And then the girl at the end was like, Oh, you guys took twice the amount of time people usually take on that puzzle. And I'm like, Oh, how do you solve that puzzle? And she's like, You put on the visor, you know, the hat. And I'm like, That's what I did, but you couldn't read anything. And she's like, Oh, I'm like, Yeah, you should get that fixed. It's like, Then how'd you do it? It's like, We brute forced it. And she's like, <laughs> The bracelet has been unlocked in the bonus menu. Oh, that's cool. What's the dream album? Ah, oh, that's cool. You gotta buy all of the things. Okay, mate, if it was possible, whose Somnium from Danganronpa would you visit? Man, Mukuro's would just be like fucking World War II. Um... I don't know. I would like Mukuro or Kirigiri. Yeah, those two are cool. Uh, Maki's would be pretty cool. Is there anything that I like? What the hell? Okay. No! Cute little Iba. All we have now are the clothes, and you're practically done with the game. It's crazy, we're basically done. What do we have for outfits? Mizuki outfit, paws and a tail. What else do we have? Smart, cute, abyss. CEO glasses, prison glob, hero's belt, chibi tama, chibi aiba, wanderer hat, K head. Oh my god, so many references. These are not unlocked yet. Because I obviously don't have the um, stuff. Yeah, I don't have everything because I don't have all the stuff. That was a nice secret. That was a nice secret. You'd pick a Kichi. I've seen his love hotel. I ain't going in there. I ain't going in there. I know for a fact I'd be dead if that was me in there. I've done escape rooms with some friends, but... I was always the person that either solved things or put people and gave them jobs to solve things. Because the people that I went with, left to their own devices, would chase their own tails. I'll give you an example. My friend's wife, they're married now. She is a computer. I kid you not. You just throw math equations on the screen She'll pop out the answer in under a second. She's that smart. But she doesn't understand the purpose of doing the equations. So if you put her in an escape room, where you've got 
numbers, but you don't know which numbers you need to plug in, she's lost. Because she doesn't know how to critically think. She's an excellent worker bee, but she's incapable of critical thinking. She doesn't understand why it's done that way, but she's capable of just spitting out the calculation. <laughs> so whenever we're in an escape room and there's like a math thing, I just look to my mate. I'm like, can I borrow your wife? And he's like, sure. <laughs> my other mate is like, and I'm like, hey! Richa, come here for a minute. I need you to solve this times this or this plus this plus this. And she just spits out the number and we just plug it in. It's it's like fucking nuts. My other mate is easily distracted, but he explores. Like he goes fucking through everything. So when we do an escape room, I'm just like, Sanjay, go. And he literally like picks up everything. He will touch everything and anything, even things you're not supposed to touch. So if it's not like fucking bolted to the floor, he will pick it up, shake it and do it. But the bad thing about him is he'll forget about it. Like he will find something and forget that he found it. So when I'd send him off to like grab everything, I'm like, everything you find, put it in this spot, like right smack down in the middle of the first room. So he will go around and just fucking grab everything, useful, useless or not, and just put it in the middle. My other mate is pretty smart. Like, he will read through text and stuff and start to piece together what's going on, the scenario. But he doesn't get those, ah, oh, aha moments when it's a puzzle. And I'm more of an observer, so I'm not good at the math. I'm not good at reading into the text because I'm too lazy for that. But because I'm lazy, I start noticing patterns because my brain tries to shortcut things. See how I'm not doing any of the work in the escape room? Shortcutting. And so if I notice any sort of pattern, I'm like, hang on a minute. And then I'm like, plug the math equation. Or what does this mean? Link this together. Or do we have an item that's something? And it typically solves the room. So I am completely useless by myself in an escape room. I fucking suck. I can solve a lot of the simple things. Like I can figure out, um, what's it called? I can figure out, what's the thing? Um, riddles. And I can figure out little patterns and hidden questions. I can read in between the lines, but I can't solve the actual problems. Like. Here's a cipher, and here are some shapes, match it up. My brain is too lazy and sporadic for that. I don't have the patience. I just, I'm, I'm stupid like that. I'm like a child, I'm like a little puppy. <laughs> That's why I struggle in escape rooms like Zero Escape. It just fucking kills me. I disagree with the hate, but I can change your seething hate, no offense. What? Wah, 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 wah. Amame was held at gunpoint to keep her mouth shut, terrified to defy him. And all Terra needs to do is shoot Ryuki and Mizuki because she's not bulletproof and everyone in that room is doomed. Alright, cool. You guys are talking about that. But yeah. Kuma, if it's possible, who's something? Alright, we did that. Uh, <sighs> this game for me was pure fan service. It was pure fan service. It did, though, scratch that little... Remember how at the beginning we were talking about what happens if this game turns out to be Zero Escape? And I think they played around with that a little bit with Purge, TC Purge. They played around a little bit with, like, the timelines and the plot twists and all that stuff. And definitely these, uh, uh, these uh, references are 100% giving us a little bit of that. Because everyone's like, give me more Zero Escape, give me more Zero Escape. It's like, alright... I'll give you that, you know, I'll, I'll throw you a biscuit. And we got it. But it also shows that... This is definitely a lot easier than Zero Escape. I will admit, Zero Escape is difficult. So, if you're into that, which is quite a niche, by the way, it's really good. But... If you're more of a casual person that will take the occasional puzzle, 
But sometimes they just want to sit back and go for the ride. AI is a lot better for that. And so, I kind of hope that this these two AI games have been sort of an experiment in how to write these puzzle and escape room games. So that when it comes to making another one or making another Zero Escape game or wherever, it's done in a way that casual people can enjoy it, but also those hardcore puzzle fans can enjoy it. Because personally, uh, Virtue's Last Reward felt a little bit like torture at times. Because some of the escape rooms just, 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 just frustrated me. You know, they just got to me. And then at a certain point, I was like, I'm done. Like, I don't even want to try to figure it out. I have a headache. I just want to get out of here. I just want to progress the story. I'm sick of these fucking hallways. Every fucking hallway. Like, it, it, it got to that point. And it all... Like, looking back at Virtue's Last Reward... I mostly remember pain and frustration. I lost a pair of headphones. I I think I lost it several times. P possibly more than several times. I was probably frustrated to all hell. You guys were probably the only thing stopping me from actually quitting the game. I probably brute forced more puzzles than I should have. I remember brute forcing the puzzle in the, like, the bar uh, with, with the slot machine. I freaking brute forced it completely. I remember you guys were like, how the fuck did you do it? But that's what happened. That's what happened. So I'm kind of hoping that when they do this, they give us the option of setting the difficulty of these puzzles. And I know they did it in Zero Escape, but some people are just fucking stupid like me. I, I consider myself an idiot. I consider myself an idiot. Because I do not have the patience for an escape room. I'm the guy that just like tries to smash down the wall. Get uh, great reactions at the very least. Yeah, VLR had some BS puzzles. Yeah. Uchikoshi really needs to calm his tits with those ones. I mean, give it, give give the option to do those type of puzzles, but for the love of God. Oh my God, the plot twist in AI3 will mind shatter you like someone will go to a mental hospital because of it. Um... You know, I'd actually like a game that does that. I personally would. Um... If a game like that does happen, I would definitely want to play it more consecutively than once a week. Because I feel those type of games need to be played more rapidly. Once a week, particularly with something like Zero Escape. You have to play it consecutively. Um, yeah, but I would definitely want to do it. The same way I don't particularly enjoy horror, but I want to go through the experience of a good horror game. It's kind of like a love-hate relationship. I don't enjoy being scared, but the experience is exhilarating, you have to admit. Same way I, I actually like stories that blow my mind. It's more so the gameplay. As long as the gameplay doesn't make me want to, you know, jump off the roof again. Kuma, want a list of the foreshadowing? I think you mentioned some of it last time, but go ahead with anything that you missed. Horror game, Alien Isolation is waiting for you. I bought it. I bought it a few years ago. I have it. The thing that's getting me is we have Resident Evil DLC coming out this month in a week. I think we should be playing that because we played Resident Evil 8. I don't want to just freaking grab another game and just start playing it with all these other games we haven't finished. I would feel bad. I'll oh, say, it's always great to see an amazing and crazy plot twist. Yeah. You want me to link a document in the Discord? Um, you can do it in the chat. Just like copy paste. Bro, start Alien next year. I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind. I mean, we've got the second computer. Second computer is right here next to me. It can boot up the game. Or I can play from the game. This one streams. Uh, connected to a controller. I know I typically play FPS with a, a mouse and keyboard. But like I can just connect the controller and just play it. It wouldn't be a big thing. 
Yeah. But I like a good story. Mizuki's leg has the scar from the gunshot wound she got last game. Mas Mizuki doesn't have that scar. But here's the thing, we don't actually see Mizuki's leg. Like, I don't think we actually see Mizuki's leg at any point. So it's a bit, you know. In the conversation with Shoma after finding the second half of Komeji's body, he refers to his dad as having been alive a few days ago. This is because in actuality, Komeji died yesterday. I guess I didn't pick up on that. Or maybe I just brushed it off as a mistranslation. You see both Mizuki's legs during the AI investigation section. Oh! I guess I just wasn't paying attention to the detail. I guess I just wasn't expecting them to go into that much detail. The game is subtle with the hints. Subtlety is good. Subtlety is good. Subtlety is good. Because some are super obnoxious, some are not. You know how like sometimes I will pick up the most subtle thing and rant about it and sometimes come up with a plot twist and then forget about it. AI made it subtle enough that it did not ping on the radar. Or it might have pinged, but it wasn't enough of a ping to sort of set me off, you know? You do kind of have to point the camera to get a look at her legs. Mm. So subtlety is really good. But in second playthrough, you would definitely pick up on it and you'd be like, wait a second. In Mizuki's route, Amama mentions her dad died six years ago. Mmm. But you find out late that Amame's dad is, um, Komeiji. You find out late. And only then would you actually link two and two together. Mmm. 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 Oh. While we're talking, let's just play some music from AI The Somnium Files. Because this was only played once. And I think it's an amazing track. How would I score the game? <sighs> I think I gave AI 1 9 out of 10. It's not as good as AI 1. That we have to just put out there. This is more fan servicey. The plot... Like, AI 1 was better in many respects. Music in AI 1, I would say, was a lot better too. This has a few tracks which are nice, but AI 1 had a lot more. I don't have anything against the characters that were introduced in this game. I think they're good. But you have to take into consideration all the characters that were introduced in AI 1. Which is Aiba, Date, Mizuki, you know, Boss, uh, and all the crew. In AI 2, you ended up getting people uh, like uh, Ryuki, Tama, um, Tokiko, uh, Uryu, um, Chikara, and stuff like that. Um, so I definitely think that the characters from AI 1 brought a lot more to the table. Uh, especially from, you know, the point of view of, like, Dante's Entertainment, uh, Date's Entertainment. But to be fair, we did get a lot of Mizuki time, which was really good. So, I wouldn't say it was significantly better in AI Wonder Characters, but it is slightly better. Music, we already talked about it. Gameplay, um... See, the AR... Thing, added a new dynamic to it. It added a new dynamic to it. Twist. So, in AI 1, we went through different timelines to figure out what's going on to get the pieces. In this game, we're actually going down one frickin' timeline, and then we fucked with time and space itself to get an alternate one, breaking the very fabric of reality. I 
I would say, I would say that I preferred the way it worked in AI1 because it felt like you controlled the story. Whereas in this one, you were just there for the ride. And you would on occasion turn left or right, left being bad end, right being okay end. And then you unlock the other side. Whereas in AI1, you can go either way from the beginning. I don't know. Six and a half, seven out of ten. That's because I love Mizuki to bits and the characters were good in this game. Hmm. All right, back to the uh, other things. Do, 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 do. When examining the Chizoya in Ikume Shrine, Mizuki will say it's used for washing her belly button because Date branked her by telling her that. Yeah. Mas Mizuki instead just says, you wash your hands here. Oh. This game kind of fell flat on a few places. You can only get a fluff dialogue in this area after grabbing the balloon. You moved on after grabbing it since you had examined the area prior. When talking about Lian's past with Mas Mizuki, Momo says... She should already be familiar with what Leon has done. This is because she is actually Quartz, who was her partner. True. I thought it was because she's a cop and she had access to his criminal record. Assumptions are dangerous. On day one of Ryuki's side, Chimpei visits Moma to say thank you. On day two, Mizuki's side, Moma says he's got a thank you gift from Chimpei yesterday. Thank you gifts can be given later too. In Gen Somnium, Oda still has his pre-time skip design instead of his post-time skip look he normally would have. True. Do you want Mizuki as MC next era or would you like a new main character? I think sometimes having another character lets you look at the character from a different light. I think we had fun with Mizuki. I want them to come up with new cool characters. And I kind of feel that Ryuki didn't do that. Multiple characters on side Ryuki chapter 4 begin talking about a rocket. We don't see this happen till side Mizuki. True. Mizuki when hearing Boss has an adopted daughter is confused. Despite the fact Boss's profile says she has an adopted... She is the adopted mother of Mizuki. This is because this actually refers to Bibi, not Mizuki. Despite the fact Boss's profile says she's the adopted mother of Mizuki. All right, that was, yeah. Yeah, the twist in AI1 was a lot better. The statue broken by Tokiko in Chapter 2 of Ryuki Route is seen in Unbroken again in Ryuki Chapter 5 during the search. Right. Uh, the twist was much better. Tama is worried about Ryuki when he acts like Chikara's murder just happened in Ryuki Chapter 2 at the shrine, even though it was six years ago. Ryuki... In Mizuki Chapter 1 says that he did Tortoise Bondage with Tama earlier. In Ryuki Chapter 2 when you ask Tama to do it, she says, We did it yesterday already. But, Kri uh, Kri Kim, w y you can do it more than twice in your lifetime. When you visit Hitomi's house while searching for Amame as Yuruki, she mentions that she hasn't seen Date in a long time. This is because Date is still missing in the present. In Mizuki M1 Chapter 4, during the VR segment, Aiba comments that Bibi might have to literally dig through trash if she were fired from Abyss. This only makes sense with Bibi. Oh right, yeah, because Mizuki has cash. Mizuki is rich with her own successful entertainment business and maid cafe. Okay. A few of those I would say were circumstantial, but were very subtle. You know, like a thank you gift can be given God knows when later. I've given thank you gifts like six months after something, you know? Um, the bondage thing, well, like if you're doing that, you're going to do it more than twice and all that other stuff. But I love the subtlety. It's like by themselves, it's nothing significant. But when you pile them up like that, it was right there the entire time. Which is really cool. 
I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that. Look, I I like the characters. I like the games. I would always... As much as I would love to see more Date and Mizuki, I don't want them to feel like they are milked to death. Because you can only make so much fun of uh, Date's porno mags. And you can only make so much fun of, you know, Mizuki becoming more and more like Date. I would love them to come up with new characters that have their own thing. Even though I love Aiba, Date, and Mizuki to bits. I would always love to see another character come out of there and just smash it out of the ballpark. With a different personality, different jokes, different banter, different everything. That's what I love. That I would absolutely love that. Will that happen? We don't know. But this game was definitely more fan service -y. Where can they go from this? They can literally go anywhere they want from this, especially when they open up the can of worms that is reality itself being a simulation. They can go anywhere they want. Also, the whole not wanting to spoil the last game for new players despite what option you pick at the start kind of brought the game down a bit. Yeah. I guess they kind of want people to go back to the first game. Like Date not walking around with his actual face. Yeah. Yeah. It, it kind of took away from everything that happened in the um, OG game. The OG game had a lot more weight. It really did. I remember multiple times in the OG game after we got an ending. And particularly during the main ending walking away and my view on things had significantly changed in this game it didn't happen as much because it wasn't as heavy whereas the og game talked about things like family son daughter mother father what it means to be family what it means to care about each other what is the purpose of it sacrifice Things like that. This game didn't have that. This game was all about breaking reality and chopping people in half who were absolute monsters to begin with. It was very different in tone. Very. I have more. Just need a few minutes. Alright, if you have them, let's do them really quickly before we wrap it up because it is just about midnight. Like, they clearly just wanted to keep Greg Chun around to keep the voice... Voicing Date. Greg still did great voicing Date, no complaints, but come on, I wanted more 89. But don't forget that, um, what's his name? Uh, DC Douglas that voiced, um, 89, who also voiced Wesker, is currently, like, on the run. He even deleted his Twitter and everything, uh, because there's accusations going around that you know, he was inappropriately contacting fans. And I'm just going, oh god, not another one. You know, so... It's it's very possible that they couldn't get the voice. Because, <laughs> like, fucking... He's disappeared. Become a sustainable he's disappeared. I mean, they can use the voice and keep Falco's body. That would feel weird. That would feel super weird. And see, now I'm just imagining this super assassin that's addicted to porn. I mean, Date's goofy. 89's more professional. See, I'm still pissed off that I have his business shirt. The red and white striped business shirt that I never got to wear to actual work. That's what pisses me off most about COVID. No, uh, that wouldn't work since it was confirmed Data had a voice modulator for the whole game. So he wore a fake face and the modulator for his entire- Oh my god. Mizuki Chapter 3 at Boss's Office. She lists off the victims of the HP case. She lists them in the order they were killed, with Tokiko being mentioned last. Hmm. Ah, so subtle. 
Well, it's almost midnight, which is good for me because I was going to do a food run, but you can't do a food run here because everything is closed by 10 or uh, in the case of like till 12 a.m. places, they close in 10 minutes, so I'm probably good. Tokiko showed up in Ryuki Chapter 5 at the final destination while searching for leads on Kizuna before he has a breakdown and she is alive at this time. I'm sure that will make sense in replay. Alright, so they got a lot of subtle things. Fair enough. Kuma didn't pick up on them because Kuma's an idiot. It is what it is. It is what it is. The chum scare moment. Ah, yeah, that's the one. Man, that sucks not being able to have the voice of Falco in the game because of some bad allegation. So they just made things really weird. Maybe they just prefer the OG Date voice. Who knows? It is possible. Remember when in AR1 where you got a suppressed flashback when you just see young Iris and a man playing patty cake? I mean, you would still have no idea what's going on. True? Mizuki wouldn't need an explanation on who Tessa Aced is, which Aiba gives to BB when they discover Aced's statue inside Mama's safe. I always figured they did that for new players. That's what threw me off. I always thought they did that for new players. But it makes sense. It makes sense. It makes sense. Alright, guys. Let's wrap it up. This was incredibly fun. Also, you didn't notice just how needed Somniums were in this game? They felt a lot more linear. They were. When BB and Liam break into the Hadori lab, he keeps mentioning about the good old days and being very casual around her. I thought he was just being super friendly because he has no other friends. Ah. Oh. Alright. This was fun. Let's hope we get another one sometime. For those of you watching the VOD, I hope you enjoyed. I'll hope you join us on the Twitch live streams. Link is in the description. I hope to see you in the Discord. That's where we hang out when we're not live streaming. You guys that are, well, you are currently watching on YouTube, but tomorrow we are watching more Homestuck. Sunday, we are watching more Mass Effect 3 memes and reaction videos. Monday, we are watching Avatar Season 2 as well as Naruto Shippuden. And then again, next Friday, uh, we are watching Bleach, Chainsaw Man. And given that this is done, we might watch something else. I don't know, I'll figure it out. Once the chapter changes, Leon has completely changed his body language and the way he talks, as he's with Mizuki instead of the longtime pal Bibi. Ah! Leon gives Bibi and Ryuki the same description of Kizzy going missing in the past, where to Ryuki he mentions that he only told it to two people. Ah. Alright. See you guys next time. Let's wrap it up. Till then, Nijikuma out. Bye!